Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. If it will finish loading. Almost started a bit late. I guess I am a minute late. Uh, <laughs> a little carried away. Let's continue, shall we? We just fixed this thing. I'm not going to bother fixing it properly. We want to replace our old furnace builds eventually anyway. Um, so what do we got? We were chasing petroleum shortages, right? And I just finished... Oh, that's going to be slow. Oh, we need beacons up there. Uh, I believe the construction train should have a lot of them by now. I brought like 10 stacks of them, 250 down here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go park this thing nearby. And the old uh, oil blocks, I want them to drain so we can replace them with new ones without deleting, like, literally millions of oil per block. Um, how long is this going to take? 280, holy crap. <laughs> um, 280 heavy oil per second versus 1.4 million. Uh, 5,000 seconds? That's not as bad as I thought. That's like 83 minutes. Um, and I think... Oh, wait, that's if... Uh, that includes making the lubricant at maximum speed. Uh, let's see. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these machines. So 224 per second versus 1.4 million. Uh, wait. Hold on. 400,000. Was it 224? 6,250 seconds or 104 minutes. Before we convert all of that. I think the light oil conversion is faster. 252. Oh, it's about the same. Except, yeah, we get about the same light oil. Okay. So we're looking at a couple of hours until those old blocks are drained, probably. Fraser K, Twister P, Twisty P, Didenton. Uh, welcome, welcome. Oh, Glacier Wolf, did I not say so? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Good evening, or rather, relevant time of day, indeed. <laughs> I think one of the reasons I almost missed my start time today is it's a bit hotter again. Um, and my sense of time was sort of thrown off by that. It's not as bad as the last heat wave. We're looking at peaks of 32, 33 degrees pretty much all week. It's getting down to a cozy 20 degrees, 19 degrees at like 4 a.m. or whatever. The fact that it gets cold enough to actually sort of recover from the heat at least once a day, that's something. 2pm here, so afternoon, indeed. So what, you're in, like, Western Australia or something, or a whole other country? If I may ask. What weather for tea hacks? That's never happened before, but it has. Quite hot here in Perth today as well. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, so what about the other oil blocks? Do they have about the same 90k per container, 48k per container, 93k per container, and this one was 103. Okay, so assuming it all gets taken, and I don't see why it wouldn't, it can all go down to petroleum, and we're short on petroleum... Uh, in a couple of hours, maybe I should set a timer or something. Can I make the timer silent somehow and still grab my attention? I should get a third-party timer application. 
Or maybe just write one. Um, but yeah, in a couple of hours we can replace all these old oil blocks with shiny new ones that don't use as many machines and can crack faster. See, right here I would definitely appreciate having... Being able to crack heavy to light, light to petroleum faster than this can make it in the first place. Just makes it loud. It's not a problem if it goes off on stream. Wait, what? It does. Quite hot here in Perth today as well, like 18 to 20 C. Wait, what makes what loud? Is, is there something I need to filter out if I can? Oh, right, the alarm. Derp. I have a two-second memory right now. Brain not functioning at optimal capacity. Set up a speaker in-game to alert when the volume is... Uh, when the volume is low, indeed. That might be a good idea. That way I don't have to remember it. Um, I think we have some speakers here. So I don't even have to... And craft them. Here, here we go. Speakers. Give me, like, a handful of them. We only need, like, four or something. Okay, I think when light oil is all but empty, we can basically assume we're probably just about ready to swap things over, right? So if we've got, say, less than 14,000, less than 1k per big storage tank. Because if we set it to, if we set it to check for zero, that's uh, never ever going to report. Or I could check for when everything is below 1k. That, that actually sounds like a better idea. If everything less than 1,000 out of these three, uh, then we want... How about that one? And show alert, oil, ready to replace all oil block. Fantastic. And then we paste it in the old oil blocks. Easy peasy. Lemon and furthermore squeezy. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. T hacks goldfish. <laughs> oh no. Did I place both of those? Yes. Yes, I did. By accident. With the heat, it should be t hacks fish finger. <laughs> oh no. It's been a while since I had fish fingers. Really nice, easy bit of food. Maybe a snack, maybe part of a meal. Alright. Kind of like chicken nuggets, only better, I think. You could probably have fish fingers more often and not feel, like, sick or something. Or maybe it depends more on the brand. Okay, what should we focus on now? Um, more crude? I know we've got more crude than we need, as long as we only have the two rail blocks. Uh, you know what? I think we've got plenty of spare power, and we're sending some down from, uh, the Spellevator. So I think we'll go ham on like 2 megawatt per cracking machine. Uh, we'll go ham on cracking that as fast as we can. Get them, rouse, rouse. Get them, rouse, rouse. Tracking. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am fully charged. Okay. 
Okay, one sec. Alright. Uh, and this one. Did I do both of those? Yes, I did. T Hex Goldfish. I have this game, indeed. Have you have you been playing it yet? I basically had fish fingers last night, so good, indeed. All right. Should I make more oil processing blocks? Um, probably. I wish this iron was gone already. Oh, it's got no. It's got no beacon. And there's 834,000 left. Budgie Bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't stand the type of fish they use for fish sticks around here. Are fish sticks fish fingers, or is it different? I got a BP that... I got blueprint that turns raw ores into... anything? Oh, like a multi-smelter? Nice, nice. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, If I do an oil block here and put in the bare minimum of uh, put in the bare minimum of landfill to make it happen, we could have a very, very close by water source. I'm good just watching the space launch and you so vibing. Nice. Which launch are we watching right now? I heard some very wild science news secondhand lately. Um, like turning our models on their heads kind of science news. That about sum it up? Something, something, black holes doing things that our models would not predict at all. Was that it? It's just a launch to ISS. Just a launch to ISS. Alright. Um, let's place this here. Uh, might end up with no room for the rail, actually. Let's get rid of these old wind turbines. I don't think we need them at this point, actually. Okay. Uh, this one. And then grab our new oil blueprint. Advanced oil processing. And we should be able to see where about, ooh, whereabouts we need more landfill. I want to do the absolute minimum with landfill here. More or less. I think that goes here. Now uh, we can just fill this part in. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Landfill always runs out faster than you'd think. Alright, let's go grab some more real quick. Can you keep some of that water for easy access? That's the idea, yes. That's why I'm building here. But I... At night, the biters have advantage this... Oh. <laughs> the message jumped up. It sounded... It, it merged the two messages in my brain. Uh, advantage of attacking my defenses because it's only laser turrets. Yeah, you gotta be careful with laser turrets. Need a lot of accumulators. Um, actually I have a build that's like... Uh, basically, we only power most of the laser turrets when we detect biters. And we detect biters by the accumulators. Uh, the accumulator here being drained by these two laser turrets. 
very handy. Saves a lot of power. Where am I going for my landfill? I should just do a factory search for it. Landfill. Uh, we've got some over here. We've got some over here. The place I was thinking of is up here, actually. It's just over there. That'll do. Oh, it's also very humid. Okay. Landfill. Um, we're going to want this here still. Save the fishy. For later. Oh, god damn it. Decon planner. Um, let's have another look at that blueprint. I'm definitely going to need landfill across here. That much is obvious. And then... I wish I had a perfect memory. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's where the pumps are gonna go, or the tanks rather. And I will just fill this in. Uh, I think this goes here actually. We need a pump here, and wherefore are my pumps? I don't seem to be carrying them, otherwise these would have been built by now. Okay. I won't lie, the SpaceX launches are starting to lose their novelty. <laughs> Indeed. I have like 5k turrets as walls. Nice. 5,000 is a few. Oops. Um, maybe I should get... I'm, I'm sure there's a mod that, like, fills out landfill under your blueprints if necessary, right? Should probably get that. And up here... And this one... Wait, where does this one go? Right about there. Uh, am I missing one here as well? Wait, what? Where does that go? I think that might be a mistake. Pretty sure... Oh, no. Steel underground pipe. Steel underground Terrain pipe. 45, fantastic. Horizon effect. Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. And for 18 months. Holy crap. That's three Twitch babies. Thank you so much. Wait, that's two Twitch bait. Holy crap, my brain is suboptimal right now. Two Twitch babies. Ah, ah, ah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome in. Merc, welcome also. Alright, um... So I definitely need to update this blueprint. 
Oh. Oh, no. No, that's not going to line up. No. Alright, back to the drawing board real quick. I thought I had this built somewhere, actually. I guess not. Let's just delete this. And I'd better have a look at my two builds that I've made already. And... Oil products. Hurry up, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I can't put this here because that underground is already there. This one would work, I think. No, it wouldn't. Um, so I definitely have to move the machine, which means symmetry go bye-bye. And that makes me sad. We could maybe do it here. That's already lined up there. Oh, god damn it. No, not like this. Not this way. So it can't go one, or, uh, one to the left or right. I mean, I could put it way over here and have a pipe go around this way, but that's obviously not what I'm going for aesthetically. Um, I would have to go this far over to the side to make that underground work. And... I don't think this fits in the middle. Let's see. We can obviously do the light oil there and there and we'll have to do, I guess. Um, steel underground pipe is going to have to go here. But that doesn't work, actually. I thought I measured it. Where did I say we could go here? So that's one off. Um, if that's the only one available for a while, until we get all the way over here. Auto save. I wish you would wait half an hour, like your auto save sh frequency, instead of less than that for the first one. I think I'll make it once an hour. We're just going to take a bit of a bigger risk if something really bad happens. Okay. Settings. Interface. Other. There we go. 60 minutes. Now then. Is this right here is basically our only option for the moment. Uh, that does need to go here. Let's just check all of those. Fantastic. And if this goes here, then this goes here. And then we could put... Cracking like so. Can we make it symmetrical? Pretty please? Nope. How about here? Nope. This is a nightmare. Why you gotta be this way? I just want everything to look nice and neat and also be super functional. Is that so much to ask? This does go up here. I think I already said we had to... No? So either one of these two works. One off, indeed. 28,000 cogs exactly. Nice. Uh... So how far... 
like, where do I have options here? Let's get rid of all of these. And we're gonna... Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep the lubricant. I think, didn't I end up deciding to go just one lubricant? Even if it messes with our precious symmetry a little bit. Okay. So let's try one tile at a time, see if we can find something. That doesn't work. That does not work. One more. That works. And if necessary, that works. Okay. So these are three three from the center. That's not going to work. Um, it has to be one of these two. So that's no good. Four from the center? No. And no. Actually, yes. Okay. Four from the center. One of these has to work, right? Oh, thank God. I honestly didn't think we would get there. Four from the center. Wait, isn't that what I had? I guess not. Where are we going? No, it's definitely not what we had before. There's exactly 6.9k laser turrets. Nice. One noob, one heavy cracking symmetry wins. Uh, I guess... Well, does the heavy cracking work still? If I paste it on top of this... It's probably going to be really easy to miss something. So, let's put it... Oh. Lining up exactly the same way. Somehow I think that's probably not going to work. Even though we've got different water inputs. So those two are pretty straightforward. Um, this one has to go up here, and this one won't work. So we definitely have to move the heavy if we're going to do it this way. That's probably why we put the heavy there in the first place, because that's the first place we found that lined up like that. Um, let's try from the middle, just in case I'm wrong somehow. So that one works, and that one works, and that doesn't work, and that doesn't work. That doesn't work, that doesn't work. We're one tile away now. That doesn't work, that does work. That one won't. Oops, and that one won't. Alright, we obviously can't take the same spot. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. The quest for symmetry. This does, and this does not. Which means I'm pretty sure this one won't work either way. Which means we're all the way to where the beacons are. That won't work. This will. And... That doesn't work. No! So close. Well, we've got more freedom with where we might put the light oil cracking, right? Surely, if we keep going outward, I mean, we can put them literally anywhere and still have them touched by the beacon. There has to be somewhere where this uh, opportunity repeats, right? R right? That one's taken. That one is taken. Uh, yeah, that's that's symmetrical. That one is free. And this one is not. 
that's taken. This is also taken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if there was somewhere where these fit, we should be able to find it again with the symmetry. I hope. That would work. And... Oh. Oh, man. I mean, I could do something slightly different with the pumps up, uh, with the pipes up here. If it comes to that. If it comes to that. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. And this doesn't work. Um, did I forget to move this out one? There we go. That doesn't work. This might. It does not. I'm honestly starting to think we might go all the way across and not find a single tile where we can do this with some symmetry. Uh, that's obviously in the way of the light oil, and that's the petroleum. Place your bets. Let me make a prediction. Why not? Wait, can I do that through OBS? I've never tried it before. How would I even do it? I don't love using Twitch's, uh, what do you call it? Dashboard? Create a dashboard. Because I don't really see the need to stream a pre- Oh, I can just pause it? Okay, that's fine. Start a prediction. Will we find a tile for symmetrical uh, light oil tracking? That's apparently too many characters. Will we find symmetrical light oil cracking? Yes or no? How long to guess? Uh, how? Hmm. How can I make it indefinite but like can't like finish it up at the end? Let's just put it on like two minutes. Why can't I? Why can't I clicky click? Why can't I make the prediction? Oh man. Uh, oh, I have to. T I thought it defaulted to yes and no. There we go. All right, five minutes. No, make it two minutes. Confirm prediction. The streamer or a mod? I am the streamer or a mod. Confirm the outcome within 24 hours. Sure, sure, sure. All right, got it. Prediction go burr. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But you won't use it for other reasons? Wait, what? T-Hacks, I'm not sure you get what I mean. Lol, let me try again. If you use only one heavy cracking, the one lube could move over to the symmetric spot. Second heavy. Yeah, yeah, I do want the two heavy cracking, though. Because sometimes we might have a we, we might have a lot of liquid, and then we might have a run on petroleum, uh, and I want it to be able to somewhat keep up. We're not building it for like the final, perfectly consistent uh, science run. We're we're designing it for now until then. Rubber band Rambo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now that one doesn't work. This one... This one does not work. Okay, that's the same distance, right? Yes. And once more with feeling. Uh, this one works. And this one does not. Okay. And then... 
Uh, that does not work. That does not work. I am getting pessimistic. That we'll find a spot <laughs> that's perfectly symmetrical that works. That would work. Okay, I'm slightly more optimistic. And... I think we did it, chat. I think we got there. We did it. I'm pretty sure. Wait, let me confirm it before I confirm it officially, right? Um, pump. It's gonna go. What? That's not a pump. Pump is gonna go here, and here, and uh, here. And here, I think? Can we reach across those and touch them all? Not quite. It's fine. Alright, so... Pipe? Pipe? Uh, I guess this will have to look like this. That's fine. Especially because it's consistent across those two. And petroleum and petroleum. It's consistent across the way it lines up with these as well. That's kind of nice. Um, don't let me down, T-Hacks. I got 2,500 on the Yes train. I'm pretty sure we got it. Should have bet 20k. <laughs> Budgie Bum getting big payouts today. Did I miss anything in chat? Schmutzki. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, let's, let's do our outputs for light oil, and that should be it, right? Okay, I'm just going to put in some heavy oil, so that we're not getting anything from the oil refineries. And some water up here. Oh, and we need conditions on this. Um, uh, if the middle two are heavy, right? If heavy is greater than light, allow the cracking machine for heavy to have water. And if heavy, uh, if light is greater than petroleum, allow water to flow to these two machines. And we can see that we have... 122k heavy, so we should be cracking that constantly, but apparently 122k uh, is about as level of a fluid as a mountain. So, there's that. Let's do some more of these over here. And it seems to be working. Product's finished. Fantastic. Alright, let me go confirm it. Uh, where do I confirm? Um, but I've never done one of these before. Choose prediction outcome. It's in the same place. 89% said no. I, I need I need damsel's soundbite. Non-believers suck it. Choose outcome. Yes. Will we find symmetrical light oil cracking? Are you sure yes is the correct outcome? Yes, yes I am. But do, do leave... Do leave it so that I have to click these things twice. I don't want to make a mistake there. Okay. Not symmetrical? What do you mean? It's symmetrical. The position of the chem plants is symmetrical. It is. I was looking at the wrong row? Oh, okay. 
I hope you didn't bet on it. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. That's our new, um... That's our new block. And I like how the pumps just happen to A, not conflict with these. Well, that was a given. But B, that is nice and consistent as well. C, details. There it is. Well, congratulations everyone who voted yes. The 11% of you. I was pretty pessimistic about it, though. By the time we got to, like, here. It was just me. <laughs> wow, that set up. Um, thank you, I hope. Alright, we need to... Oh, we don't have any bulk rail loaders, which means we can just select new contents. Uh, which is a feature that I much appreciate. We didn't have this when I first tried to make really, really, really big... Uh, well, not tried, I did, but I made really big uh, multi-smelters with rail in and out. And I would have to, like, you know, create the blueprint from scratch every single time. Uh, really nice to not have to do that. Really awful to have to go back to that because bulk rail loaders don't behave when we use this button. Um, but yeah, that's our blueprint. Finally got rid of some points. I haven't gotten into modding the game yet. I'm going to finish the game first. Fair enough. Name in base. No worries. Fat boy. Name in, name in the editor extension base. Sure. I'm gonna have to set some sacred spot aside for it. Um, how about how about we just use this big space area that I already made that I'm not using? Um, I might want to use it again. We could always make another. But how about I just put it here? Why not? Uh, let's see, what are we looking for? Except didn't you put, uh, name and base, yes, yes, yes. 5k for name, uh, 5k for upgrade? Fair enough. Let me just double check something real quick. Okay. Doop doop -a doop. Oh, that's a lot of names. Wait, no, that's every reward. Three names, three gold. Glacier, Fat Boy, Harnad. Glacier, Fat Boy, Evil Pla. Uh, I can't upgrade to gold if you don't have a name. I'll put the name in first. Okay, so Glacier and Fatboy want new names in gold. Uh, is Glacier wanting it in the editor space as well? First, let me make it. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. No, I need the... I need this character. There we go. Fat boy, not so slim. What? Why are you like this? There we go. Don't have to wait for the bots for this one. It was fat boy, right? Asking for... The editor extension base? No worries, you're welcome. In editor extension, we have all the colors, indeed. Gold, of course. Evil Pla, do it. Are you also wanting it in the editor extension base?
finish the first trophase unlimited? Wait, what? Unlimited potential with modded? Oh, right, I see. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss something in chat. Okay. So, evil pla, you're, you're wanting this, is that correct? Let me know if not. Uh, Glacier Wolf. Also, let me know if it's not supposed to be here. And that just leaves Harnad. Um, did we want that in the editor space, or is it here already somewhere to upgrade to gold? Harnad. That's Hurix. Yeah, I think we're just starting here, right? Okay. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to decon these. Those are probably gonna end up being in the same place, actually. And this is what made me notice something was wrong. That one can stay, pretty sure. And we're going to need landfill at least to here. And I believe it was here and here. And one more. No, that's it. This one over here. Light oil. Alright, are we missing anything else? Lighted big electric pole is in the way. Be gone, a lighted big electric pole. Uh, what? Wait, what? Didn't I just... Did, did I misread it? Lighted big electric pole is in the way. Did I not just run a decon planner over the lighted big electric poles? Curious. Oh, it's way up here. Get out of here. Might need to be a little bit careful with this one. Oh, that, that works. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm out of jetpack. It's walk of shame time. Oh, no. This thing doesn't carry solid rocket fuel, does it? I don't know why it would. Um, alright. Taxi... Over... Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna bring the concrete train. <laughs> just to... just to steal some... solid rocket fuel from it. No walk of shame, only... temporary train stop of shame. Steel pump ghost is in the way. How about we remove ghosts? Except I won't remove the rail ghosts. That'll probably recalculate everything. And I forgot I forgot to fix this as well. Okay. That could have killed me. 
Let's be a little bit more careful. Alright. Back you go. Uh, let's jump back into the editor. Where we were... Forgetting to reconnect light oil to here. That won't do... That will do. Easy enough. And I should probably put a pump there. I should definitely put a pump there. Cool, cool, cool. Let's once again update our blueprint. There isn't like rail missing here, is there? No. Okay. Advanced oil processing. And can we can we paste it without a shift click? This is taking a lot longer than I would have thought. Cannot build on water. We're almost there, I think. It's just two signals, a piece of pipe, uh, like seven pieces of pipe over here. And the train stop. So it's something like this. Um, pretty sure it was like that. I mean, we could just fill this in. And then way up here. What were we looking for down here? Lubricant. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Uh-oh, did I mess up? Oh, no. I messed up with, uh... With landfill. Rip in pepperonis. Okay. I'll just, I'll just put this here. It's fine. We'll pretend like we meant to do that. No one will be the wiser. Cannot build on border. Two signals and this underground pipe right here. I actually did want to bring the concrete train here now that I think of it. Because I don't want to leave all this stone here. Wait indefinitely. Uh, and we need just enough. Landfill for the signals. That looks kind of sketch. How about that? That's it. That's our build. Gonna need the construction train back here as well. Drop by here, wait for inactivity. And maybe empty after that, in case you pick up something weird. Okay, so we're going to take advantage of... It's going to line up pretty well, actually. A offshore pump over here. And that should be all we ever need. Somehow, sadly, copy-paste doesn't have that. I think there is a mod for it, but you can also blueprint including tiles if you use create blueprint button. Yeah. Time to fill it all in. No, we need some water. You can't take back landfill, or at least not without a mod specifically for that purpose. I'm pretty sure our train has... Uh, Beacons, yeah, it does. They're just taking their sweet time on the beacons. Should be able to activate this now. It's actually already activated. Oh. I forgot to update that. 
Let, let's do that real quick. Turn these off for a second. I don't know why we haven't requested, like, got trains trying to come here with oil yet. Um, if we are not going to have... Um, some power poles just to connect this, then this is how I'm going to do it. There we go. I'm surprised how many little mistakes there were here. And... Double check. That we can, in fact, click that on. And that should all be good. Now, why are we not bringing crude oil here right now? There's practically infinite crude oil available for pickup. Crude oil 150k, that's more than two train loads that we're asking for. The combinator is switched on. We do have a red wire to the logistic train stop input. Uh, long trains only? That could be short trains, but that, that's not our problem right now. Wait, what? Uh, I think something's wrong somewhere. If it's using the short trains, probably all of the long fluid wagon trains are stuck somewhere. I can do a search for crude oil in storage. Uh, it does check... Really? It checks cargo wagons, but it doesn't check uh, fluid wagons, apparently. I hope that's a, a mistake, like, I hope the mistake is that they forgot to put the graphic here, but I would imagine that's procedural, so apparently it doesn't check for that. Um, so somewhere we've presumably got a lot of fluid wagons that are very confused. Oh! Uh, those are not fluid wagons, but they are very confused. And this is a vanilla schedule one, that's fine. Where the hell are they? Can I search for entity fluid wagon? That probably makes sense. Entity. No? Huh. What do I search for to find? But... Okay. So it works looking for the space locomotive for trains on the track, but it doesn't work for... Oh, wait, wait. Space fluid wagon. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's our short train waiting its turn. This guy's picking up petroleum. This guy's not here anymore. This guy's not here anymore. This is a little bit out of date. Um, We should probably hurry up and get the the concrete train out of here. And wait for inactivity. What? No. God damn it. Manual. Temp stop. It's going to be done by the time I automate it. They have coloured stripes on the sides. Can SE maglev trains be coloured? Yeah, just barely. It'd be handy to colour code the vanilla ones. I, I actually did. It's just barely noticeable. Generic train graphic? Wait, what? That autosave, though. We can't do anything about it right now. We're beaming two very large planets. Hi there we go. Yeah, I should probably just wait till the bots stop moving here now. Alright. Uh, 
I know you've got more concrete. That's a lie, apparently. I... I could have sworn I measured this thing out so that it carries exactly enough concrete and then some 5.9k for this one block. Where's the concrete loader? 6k. Yeah, it's supposed to load 6,000 concrete. And there's still concrete here. I, I don't... don't understand. Oh, no, that's a buffer chest. That should be fine. Alright, fine. Just go back and come back here when you have more concrete. And wait for 60 seconds in activity. Oh. Well, we have some crude oil in this new block anyway. Uh, there's one of our fluid wagons. Do I not have enough now? What, 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 what were they all doing, though? I think something somewhere is busted. A little bit busted, at least. I still need to do something about all these trains confused over here. This guy's trying to drop off Vitamelange. Uh, it is an LTN train. I requested 12k. We've got... It's just really imbalanced. What the hell? Uh, but also the output is full. Which doesn't help either. Wait, does that mean... We're short on water of all things over here. Because of the traffic, I see. Uh, who's tr Wait, wait, wait. Who's trying to bring water? Not you, you're a cargo wagon. You must be trying to bring the water. Hmm, I wonder if simply filling out these blocks here would um, make the difference. Of course, I'm going to need a train to get there before that sorts itself out. Um, can you drop Vitamelange over here? No, okay. Why? How? Hmm. Okay. What if you park yourself here for a moment? And drop all of that other Vitamelange into this container? That might help. Considering all of the Vitamelange goes through this delivery cannon chest, you would think it would consume it balanced enough, but apparently not. Alright, there we go. That might be all it takes. Let's reduce the size of the request here to just like two train loads or something. 20 times 100 times 2 is only 4k. We're asking for three times that. Let's just drop it down to 6k. And that's probably going to fix the problem. Now who else is stuck here? You're trying to empty core fragments. You're a vanilla scheduled train. And no one else tries to come here. So that's not a problem. Even though... You should probably be trying to drop it off on this side, but it doesn't matter right now. I think I'll drop these down to 6k as well. Same stack size. Uh, what's your problem? Trying to drop off there as well. Okay. How about this? Oh. Oh, okay, I'm going to make a little exception here. We're going to let Bitter Melange fill these up, even though they'll be imbalanced. This is switched off anyway. And it seems like that fixed the traffic jam. I still need to put burners over here. Until we make a sink for wood. Get rid of that excess. 
We can turn wood into bio sludge, so even though it's really slow to accumulate here, eh, it's such a small amount. I'll, I'll consider it eventually. Oh, this needs to be 6k as well. There we go. And you may go. And then... You were already scheduled to come here and there's no room now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that empty? It is not. There we go. Hopefully there's no... Luckily we can't accidentally drop a discharged battery here because it's too full. And... what's your problem? There's no signals here. Okay. Didn't think we would need them. This has changed things a little bit. Let's do a drive-by with the construction train. And that should be everything. Probably. Vita still backlogged? Fantastic. Yes, it is. Actually, if Vita is backlogged... Yeah, this is why we haven't been getting... F oh, no. This is the whole reason why we haven't been getting spice. Why has this not been moved? Ride stack threshold 100. We've got 640 stacks. Um, are we not requesting... This is... Backed up? Wait, what? 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 Okay, something is not entirely right here. We've got machines not making spice while this is saturated with spice while... Yeah, I think... At the very least, we need to make these purple belts. Which probably means we could get rid of that underground there, but... Um, that's another job for construction come. Um, and I need to make these adjustments to both blocks. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Allowing short trains? Was that for the crude oil? I did change it to allow short trains. Um, I don't know where all of our long crude oil trains were, but we got it working. And water is saturated all the way over here. Seems good. Right then. I need to remember to update these two oil blocks. Get rid of the mistakes from the new... Uh, oh no, I'm going to have to go over there as well. Alright, let's do this first. Uh, I think I left my taxi train lying around somewhere. Oh, it's right here. It shouldn't... It should only take a second. No, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. It should only take a second or, you know, two minutes um, to fix what we did wrong over here. And then we can move on without having to remember it. Reduce cognitive load. How many points to get a mod installed? You really need the temporary stop default mod. <laughs> Set it to default 15 seconds of inactivity. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, um... I'm just gonna... Remove those. Get rid of the last of that oil. Get rid of the last of that oil. And be gone. Forgot I had bots. 
No, no, no. Oh, man. Okay. And this as well. And this as well. And then we should be able... Oh, my God. To place our blueprint without a shift click. Rail signal is in the way. Oh, it's just over here. Is that thing in the... No, I, I forgot this little patch. Uh, so obviously that part's not going to be the same, but... I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure everything else is basically correct. And that signal is incorrect, actually. Left over from when this was a highway. Alright, that should be it. And then once more with feeling. Remove this one, this one, this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Get rid of that last bit of oil. Decon these, decon these, decon these, and a decon of these. And we've probably got the same incorrect rail signals. And then? Rail signal... wait, what? Oh, I forgot to get rid of these. Did that also say rail signal? Real signal is in the way. Oh, this one? Um, that's wrong too. Good talk. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. And I definitely would have noticed if I accidentally tried to place this over the old build. Wait, that's... Yeah, that, that would not have fit very well. Alright, let's fly over to our construction train. Wait for... indefinitely? It's okay, I'll remind you next week too. <laughs> Is that a threat? The default temp uh, stop off 5 seconds is bad. Do you need to turn requests back on? Did I turn them off? No, we're good. I should allow short trains, though. Um, if nothing else, because we might have all the... the long trains uh, in use. But also, you know, it's fluids, it'll rebalance. Okay, now we got a bunch of hovering bots here, um, and I think that's pretty much the only problem with this. I wanted to do the same correction over here. With perp belt. And I don't know if that by itself is going to solve our little problem here. So that can all go around at full speed. And then we go 50-50 goes back here. And it's not bottlenecked by a blue belt. 
which is half speed. So, yeah, that that is very, very clearly uh, beginning to sort itself out so that all these machines can actually work again soon. Cool, cool, cool. Very good. And we've got a whole lot of catching up to do with Vitamol and Spice, but it is very, very fast now. Very, very fast. And we've got a huge backlog of bloom to go through, even if we can consume it faster than we can make it. 2.30 per second versus 2.11 per second. That'll take a while. Um, but yeah, once we see that this one has room for these two machines to work... Uh, I think this one has to drain first. And it's actually accumulating? Wait, what? Why are you accumulate? Oh, because this is full. That's why. Um, How fast would Spice be... It's only 32 per second, so it's not like uh, it's not like we would should normally put a splitter here or anything. This is, this should be fine. Now in space, our spice is saturated actually, which means biomass go burr. That's what we've been wanting to see for a while. Very good. That means data cards have been going burr for a while. Tier 2, we've got all the cards, except, of course, for experimental genetic data, which is perpetually uh, needed for other things. Maybe... Okay, even though we can only make 13 here... I mean, I... Hmm. Nah, I'm pretty sure overall this is fast enough. Then again, if we ever want to scale up, I don't want to have to build another block just for these. You know, it's easily... We can easily increase it. We're missing significant biomass, which I haven't put in the recipe for. It's very clearly supposed to be here, because we've got the filter inserters to take them out. We need Vitalic Reagent, which I also haven't made yet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and this one was supposed to be... a recipe we still don't have. The fanciest of DNA strand data cards. Zaxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is crude oil processing better than advanced oil processing now that you have a better prod percentage? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I mean, we can test it. Uh, I'm not going to be replacing the prod 3s for a long time, though. Here's an oil refinery. Do you mean like petroleum gas or something? If we're specifically looking for petroleum. Okay. I think we did... Yeah, I definitely remember running this ex experiment. Um, We're going to start with... These two are going to need cracking. Um, I guess with the advanced chemical plant, we have better prod, even with the same modules. Is that what you mean? This will be light to petroleum. Um, and this will go here. This will go here. This can... Uh... 
This can go here, I guess. And a water source. Well, I guess I could have just put that there. Nope, 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 nope. Bad. And pipes. And water. And power. And I want to give it a fixed amount of crude oil uh, for each of these. That's easiest to do in small quantities. That's a hundred, right? Exactly. What do we have here? Two thousand? And then... Change it to regular pipes. And then connect it over here. And we'll see how much uh, petroleum we end up with. Give it some super speed modules. Super beacon. Super speed module. And... Oh yeah, this is taking exactly a hundred crude oil per recipe. Perfect. It should consume literally all of the crude here. No, it's going to fall short of doing the last recipe. That's fine as long as all the others do the same thing. So that's 19 recipes. We have 2k petroleum. Exactly. Alright. So 19... Uh, 1900 made 2000? Or 2.1 thousand almost. 2055. Okay. And then... Uh, we're going to... So the first one was 2055, right? And that'll be a bit more of a problem for this one, except it should still do 19 recipes. Uh, and we need our petroleum brought over this way, actually. Oops. Where is this going to go? And pump. Alright, we're out of crude oil over here. We got 19 recipes. And we have... 2,432. A significant increase. And I think it's going to be better than the heavy oil recipe. Place that with crude. That was the wrong one. Okay. So we have 2,000 crude oil here. We're going to get 19 recipes out of this. Because it'll, a little bit will be left over. Let's clean up all of that. And go. Infinite crude? Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Boggles, good to see you again. Schnutzki, 2055. Yes, it was. The first one was 2055. This one was actually really close. Does anyone remember precisely how much petroleum we got out of the second one? Because I think it was almost the exact same amount. You can set the cheat pipe drop down amount and then drop down amount. Oh, as in like 50%? 
it won't be as precise um, if we do a big container. And then change from exact to at most for the perfect amount of input for it. Well, we got we got 19 recipes from each. I think that's probably good enough. Uh, but yeah, maybe... I'm guessing... If tier 3 modules gives us almost the exact same amount between light oil and heavy oil, then... Higher tier productivity modules should favor the heavy oil, right? Because more of it is going through more productivity steps. Let's make it very clear with tier 9s. Clear out all of this. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing again. 19 recipes by putting in 2,000 crude oil, and it won't quite do the last one. Oh, uh, and this needs to be turned back into pipe so that we don't spawn more. And go. And we end up with 5,000... Holy crap. Holy crap, is that... Wasn't it like 2400 something? 2440 or something like that last time? We're literally more than doubling it when we go to tier 9s. Jeebus. Okay, so 5263. Uh, we're gonna clear all of that out. And... This time... Light oil? I think this one's going to be significantly lower because we've got one less productivity step for most of the... Whoops. Uh, for most of the oil, right? Twenty-four thirty-two versus twenty-four forty-two. Yes. So it's already better to use heavy oil at tier 3 prods, is that right? But just barely. Um, but the productivity progress bar didn't start at zero for the last one. Oh, whoopsie daisy. That definitely throws our numbers off a little bit. Um, but with such a dramatic shift from tier 3 to tier 9, <laughs> Uh, it should probably be able to... Our conclusions should be accurate enough with what we're about to do without resetting it all, right? So... We got well over 5,000 from the heavy. And this is only... Only 4.5. Yeah. And then this one, of course is going to be far less than that. So yeah, our precision is less than it should be, um, because I forgot to delete and replace the machines so they lose their productivity bar. Uh, but except for like comparing the ones that were really close, the general conclusion should be correct. And... To the surprise of no one? Oh! Bollocks. Minor detail. Minor detail. I forgot to turn these back to regular pipes. All right, so this, to the surprise of no one, we're going to get the least out of the single step. Yeah, by a lot. Cool. That's actually really good to know. Um, You know what? Now I want to compare... We, we'd better do a precise comparison at Tier 3. Because 
for very, very little effort. Literally just changing the recipe when everything's already in place. Because we can do it like this. Slash like this. Um, for extremely little effort, I could increase the amount of crude that I get, or, or, of petroleum that I get, um, for the same amount of crude. Alright, so, test number one. Let's clear out all the oil. Let's give it, once again, just under 2,000 crude oil. Turn that back to pipes. Uh, that should be fine. It'll be the same amount. I think. I'm not going to risk it. Let, let's make sure. Crude oil goes here. And then. Alright, tier 3's using crude oil processing, or rather the heavy oil processing, from scratch, no productivity bars, 2,442.9, and then, I guess I could have like moved this over here to keep it, oh well, 2,442, And make sure those are all reset, just in case. Crude oil. And go. Do we get more or less than 2442? I think it's going to be slightly more. Don't forget to change all the mods. Indeed. We get... Yeah, 2432.9. So, um, it is immediately worth it to change all of these from light oil processing to heavy oil processing. Assuming that we want the most out of productivity, which we do, um, if the light oil is faster, I don't think I care. Let's see. Two seconds versus five seconds. Wait, really? We get 120, we get... 120 between all three of the fluids. Huh. Wait, you're joking. Heavy oil processing is way faster? It's two and a half times faster? So we just gained a ton of production speed as well. Holy crap. 850 heavy oil per second. And we can only crack half of that. Um, can we, can we fit? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that for our new blocks for starters. But, wow. Stopping to smell the math every once in a while is pretty handy sometimes. Is this guy okay? Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's jump into the editor. Wait, did I finish what I was doing here? I think I did. Uh, I was going to fix the hovering bots that may have stolen spikes. I see them hovering. And... Shift C. I said Shift C. I, I said... Shift, shift C, as is light, Morbid Dragon, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, my inventory is way too full, okay, we can now send our train back with all of its bots and not stealing spice and putting it where it doesn't belong, fantastic. Let's jump into the editor, set our light oil recipe to heavy oil, which gives us more stuff and way faster, like more, more for our input, but also it's faster. 
Math in my factorio? It's more likely than you think. Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Beep, 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 good to see you again. Also, I finally automated rockets. Nice. -o. Should have done it 500 play hours ago, indeed. It do be like that sometimes. The productivity progress bar didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did I miss anybody? Meowgamin, good to see you again. Fact Biter, indeed. I wonder if it's possible to get it so that I can see the animated uh, custom emotes in the OBS chat. Okay, so now the big question is, can we fit, preferably with symmetry, uh, another one of these, and how, how would it fare compared to our rate of heavy oil? It's 850 versus 576 per second. That's actually still kind of no good. Um, I don't suppose this would be the same distance apart. That could work, actually. But then this would have to move over a tile. Uh, I think I'll put it here. So that this looks nice and neat. And then... That needs to be heavy, greater than light. Uh, and we need... Just like this. Heavy to connect over there. Now, is it good enough if we... Can crack... 576 out of 850 per second? Probably... Especially considering 96 goes to advanced chemical plant. Hmm. I mean to lubricant. What if we had another one of these here, perhaps? And that wouldn't even line up. I could do it like... No, I, no, I couldn't. No, I could not. I, I kind of want to make that work, though. Let's see. 850 per second versus five of these, which is 960 per second. That's actually kind of perfect. How much crude oil can we... Uh, sorry, light oil. 1.3k per second, and this can consume 288. That might not work, actually. Suddenly the... Just just this one little discovery has completely thrown off the ratio of this build. I tried to set up an airlock without the mods in Oni and failed miserably. Couldn't figure out how to produce a true three-stage vacuum process. It takes way more stuff than I'd like it to, honestly. Way more space, way more parts, way more, uh, material. Way more everything. That mod makes life so much simpler. It does. It absolutely does. I mean, if I could, using vanilla only, make something just like that, in about the same size, no matter how difficult it was to design, I'd be very happy to. Yes, indeed. All right, uh, I think we're going to have to come up with something a little bit different. We know this doesn't work. Right? Actually, it does. Wait, what? Really? If that can go there, then I'm sure this one can't work because we kept trying that, right? Veldak? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to my home. Hope you're doing well. That's nice. Um, let's see. That would have to go up here. Uh, do we sacrifice symmetry? 
How much water would we need to support this? I'm glad that we're not going to need as many builds. Be better for UPS. 1.4k per second. That's not that bad, actually. Relatively. Um... We don't have much space to work with vertically either. So that I could, like, have water like this or something. Hmm. Hmm. I really want to make the most of all of this, though. Well, we do still use light oil for some things. We don't have to turn it all into petroleum, right? Eight fifty per second versus nine sixty per second. How many is four? Seven sixty-eight. Uh, and then we've got theoretically one point. Well, it wouldn't be quite sustainable, but let's call it 1.2k light oil per second. We would need... Holy crap. Eight of these? We would need eight of these to crack that to petroleum. Nemzi? Thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the quick tips yesterday. Demo completed. Fantastic. Nice. Welcome to Factoria. Um, what if... If I linked those four like so... And get water from around the side or something? How much water is this? Only 576 per second. Okay. And we're up to 6 out of 8. And that could go there. And that could go there. And like so. And like so. And like so, and like so, like so, and like so. Alright, so far so much better than expected. Um, the only thing is I need to have water come down this way or something. We should probably have a pump. F yeah, we should definitely have a pump for that. So like this. Tell me that's going to reach. No! Oh my god, because that looks so much less weird. Okay. That'll just have to be there, I guess. And then... Like this. Could make all of that steel just for the look of it. And then where does this one need to go? That should be that should have the same logic as this one. To decide to bring water to the cracking machines. And that's eight. Alright. So this is going to go, like, here, I guess? And once again, probably not going to reach there. This does reach, though. And I'll just check that um, water gets where we need it to. 
All of these have water? They do. And we are cracking right now. Seems the water's having no trouble whatsoever. Okay, so that's our 1.1k light oil consumed by cracking per second. And then... I think I'm happy with the five of these uh, to do heavy oil cracking. Well, I should be. It's more than the um, oil refineries can create. So... That goes there. And... How is this one going to work? Probably going to have to do something similar to what we did with the... With the light oil. But I'm not sure exactly... Where we're going to do that. Does that have to be there? I don't really want to have to make an exception for the sake of it, but... But we could. It would make it very easy to connect. I'd actually make those two wires go across there as well. And on this side... Uh, this side's really easy, actually. So that one goes to heavy. And... That looks kind of weird. Those two should be connected. They seem to have the same condition. I'll go over them at the end to make sure. Yeah, I, I'm thinking the least, like, disruptive way to do this one is just... Add a little bit of pipe over there. What's the worst that could happen? So we're gonna have... This one here. Whoops. Wait, which one did I just rotate by accident? Was it just this one? Oh, it was this. Okay. I don't want all of these to be steel, just for the look of it. Uh, that one's already... That, that's lubricant. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not going to reach, is it? Uh, but this one definitely could look a little bit less weird. Heavy, different graphics from Crestorio, I think? Yes. It's not 100% consistent in all icons. Is that so? Alright, uh, can we remove the cheat input that I've got somewhere that I don't know where it is, other than water? Well, how about... How about this? I think we didn't have a cheat input still, actually. Okay, so... Infinite Crude? And... Infinite Water? Oh, and we need to... Copy-paste... I'm just gonna make all of them heavy uh, the heavy oil cracking logic. What's this? That doesn't go anywhere, does it? Because we changed... Oh, we were trying to line this one up. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, so all of them are... If heavy greater than... 
light. And then we need to make this one say if light greater than petroleum. And that one goes here. And here. And here. So that should be it. We should see all of these machines able to continue going at full speed all the time. It seems to be like the slightest little delay. Uh, maybe I'm imagining it. Certainly these ones can. The cracking machines? I see this one starting and stopping. Oh, no, that's supposed to happen. Because the we've got slightly more advanced chemical plant cracking heavy than we can create heavy. That's actually normal. Uh, we're already full on lubricant. And then... Uh, oh, it would probably help if petroleum had outputs. I'm surprised these things ran as long as they did. Now why are they... We're not getting as much light oil as all that. I'm probably fine with that, actually. Like I said, the ability to crack a bit faster than we can create the light oil uh, means if there's a run on petroleum, we could go through the backlog a bit faster. Theoretically, we can make 1.3k light oil per second. Um, but that would involve cracking from a backlog of heavy oil. Which I think we might see here. Oh. Oh, that would help. Same thing with the light oil. Make sure all the cracking machines. And output. We also need heavy here. And we already did this one. Okay, in that, uh, in that case, I actually want to try it without cheating heavy right now. You might need to pump into buildings if the big tanks don't back up. Also, good morning, Simrock. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And yeah, no, it's fine. Like, it'll sort itself out. It'll go faster the more full it is. It's actually kind of what we want. And maybe the far right one? Uh, do you mean this? Yeah. I gotcha. Alright, uh, but which of these aren't rotating? This one has no water for some reason. Oh, because we've got more light than petroleum. Huh. That's actually kind of good, yeah. Um, alright, can we reset this whole thing? We're not measuring what's in here. Oh, I shouldn't have deleted the lubricant. Alright, but these are not having trouble getting water, right? That's, that's fine. We're up to 14k heavy. But it's not cracking that fast because of the flow issues as predicted. But it's like practically empty, so I'm not that worried about it. So once we have more petroleum than light, we'll stop cracking light to petroleum. Yeah, that's pretty good though. 
I wouldn't expect to see these going super fast. Actually, let's set all of them to like... Uh... How about 50% full? And then see how it behaves from there. So we're both filling it up and draining if necessary with these uh, void pipes. Let's put it there. Copy, paste, paste, copy, paste, paste. All right. So once we've got a sizable amount, we'll, we'll come back to this in a minute. I think we're almost finished on a final version for this. I'm really glad it turns out Prod 3s just barely give us uh, more heavy, uh, more, more overall. So this is like final version, except more modules later on. I mean better modules. Um, that methane gas, though. I was thinking about this earlier. That we could just... I, I was thinking of having methane storage somewhere. And then it's like, well, I've got this space right here. Why don't I just... Why, do, why don't I have any pumps right now? Oh, no. But yeah, why don't I just add copious storage here? Makes sense to me. Rather than have the rail network involved at this stage. Do you have water drop-off yet? Not seeing where it's getting water from. Uh, it's getting water from cheat pipes. And yeah, the water... The maximum water consumption, theoretically, in this bro uh, block is almost 2,000 per second, so we're not doing train drop-offs for this, we're building it close to the ocean. Is the light green Vita output to the left of you correct? Is the light green output correct? What do you mean by that? It's waiting for more extract. Oh. We're not making extract because we're too full on spice. Well, that's a problem. Um, I can temporarily fix it by not limiting these chests. But then we're eventually going to get nothing but spice in here, right? Pretty sure. Maybe I need to put conditions on these inserters. Really, I just want some filters here. Yeah, I, I don't want this chest filling up much with spice. I guess I could probably... Please tell me this reaches. No! I could make it reach by connecting the wire to the belt. Alright. So if spice less than, I don't know, a thousand. That's actually a lot. How much goes into one recipe? Ten, basically. It's 30 to get it started, but it costs 10. Ah, oh, whatever, we can leave it at 1,000. And then... Wire connection... Up here somewhere. Doesn't reach, really? 
Really, really? That'll have to do. And no condition on these belts. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. And up here, up here, up here, up here. And unconditional belt. It's just for the wire connection. Cool. So if there's copious uh, vitamin lunch space in these containers, we're not going to direct insert them from here. That should be fine. And bring it over to this one. Looks good. All right, how's our build looking? Um, it's still going to take its sweet time to actually reach 50%, but this looks close enough to me to give us some idea. Remove the infinity uh, pipe. Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right, no more cheat pipe except for water, actually. Oh, that copy-paste actually worked. And... Um... I guess remove the petroleum? And we should see if all of these can run at full speed for a while, which it looks like they can. Okay, perfect. That is beautiful. Let's update our blueprint once more. And go and replace the bits that are different once more. Uh, whoops. Why does it not make a noise here? Select new contents and... and go. Now then, I'm going to need a ride. Shouldn't have sent the fast train back home. Oh, come back. Come, come here. Come here. Wait for me. There's stone hovering some hovering inserters trying to put light green on the dark green side forgot the names uh you mean spice and extract yeah that's normal well i mean the way it's working now is normal i could have set it up with two outserters per per machine so that we always put it on the same side um but it's not really necessary This one's looking a bit slow. Hmm. Maybe this should be like red belt. Why was blue not slow enough? Well, looking at how saturated it is now, I can kind of see. All right, this becomes red belt. Wait, is that different on each side? Yeah, it is. Is 
the symmetry shall prevail. There we go. That should have all of the extract machines working consistently. Looks like it does. This one's just catching up. Yeah, if this is draining now, it's looking good. Also, we're actually out of spice here now. We're, we we already used up all of that bloom that we had. Why is there no water here? What? What? Okay, I... I have my suspicions that we've got, like, very many fluid trains stuck somewhere or other. What are you doing? How did you even get out of here? Oh, I remember this. No? Oh. Oh, that's wrong. I can't remember why I changed that earlier. But it's sorted out now, I guess. So where the hell are our fluid wagons? This one's trying to... Uh-oh. What's it asking for? Petroleum. Oh, crap. I think that's one more thing I have to update on... Uh, on the blueprint. Yep. I fixed those earlier, but the blueprint overrode them. Well, that's where some of our fluid wagons went. Maybe we'll start getting some water delivered here again in a minute. We don't have that many fluid wagons. We didn't need that many before. Hmm. Can you tell me how to get... Oh, it's up here. There we go. Water is on the way. Didn't pick the best place to build this stuff. I could do a water drop off here, I guess. A uh, pick up, rather. What's our overall throughput for water here? 3.2k per second? Uh, I think? And it's kind of far away from the water supply up here. I think that deserves some dedicated pipes, probably. Just, just maybe. I need some pumps, which I don't have right now. Uh, and I think I left some not built over here. Let's grab the construction train. And park it around about... On the roundabout? Seems good. Roundabout on the roundabout. And I guess I can plan it out before the train gets here. Um, so each side needs 1.6k per second. I don't know... Why don't we test it? If we use infinite water source... Oh, wait, no, I need to bottleneck it just like it would in the game. Um... If we have a offshore pump, that's 1.25k per second maximum. How much was each half block needing? 
1.6. God damn it. Alright, so two of these. Merge. And then... We have a bunch of... Underground pipes. Before we have a pump. And... We need to measure our throughput from that. It's like 1522. It was 1 1.6 that we were aiming for, right? I'll just confirm that as soon as the save is done. Speaking of which, I need to... Speaking of the reasons that the save is so long, I need to go and check on Nalvis and Bombato and see if we've finished clearing them and w whether we have to switch over to scanning the other one. I'm thinking probably not yet. Oh, it's getting slow. Once we can trim those surfaces, it's going to be much, much, much faster. Okay. Nalvis? Uh, I, I don't think we're scanning Nalvis right now, but we've got plenty of biters for the beam to keep chasing. And Bombato? I believe we're still scanning. Ooh. It's getting relatively close to done. Still taking its sweet, sweet time. But you can see the curves just barely at the corners. So it won't be that much longer. Now then. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, speed test. So we need 16, 1600, right? For each side? Yes, 1600. Uh, so it turns out... That's only 1585. There we go. We could have... Well, these three are also slowing it down. But I'm pretty sure if we have uh, six underground steel pipes between each steel pump and or corners, uh, then we should be able to keep it at 1.6k. Lagden, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we've got a long way to go with these pipes. I will eventually maybe want to build here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Um, Alright, steel underground pipe. Does that... really? Doesn't, doesn't, it's one tile short from getting out of here. That's a little sad. How about this one? Alright, that's good at least. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six already. So we need to put pumps here. And then max distance back this way. Two, four, six, uh, and then like that, until maybe one more of these. Except with the corners, is it going to be bit more of a problem. I think we just have to put that here, put this here, that one can go there. Oh, they probably shouldn't be that close together. Steel pipe. So this is one, two, three. Uh, let's see. Four, five. Uh, 
And we want six pieces of pipe maximum between the pumps. So where's the rest of it? Over here. It's kind of hard to see. There it is. And we should be able to pretty much follow that. Ooh, this might be easier. Should be able to pretty much follow that all the way down to the water. And... Maybe this shouldn't be as close together as it is. We'll figure something out. Alright, give me some pumps, please. And some steel pipe. And get out of the way of this train. Uh, park yourself here till I come back. Um, and I forgot I left you here. You go back and resume your usual duties for now. Alright. Oh, should I have put... One, two, three, four, five... No, that's probably fine. Hello, hello, Yoka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thought you did the loop with filters and drop close slash far? Uh, no. No, I didn't. I was thinking of doing that. But I didn't think it was necessary. Oh, I didn't pick up any offshores. Oh, yes, I did. I, I, I only need four as well. Uh, let's see. I might need to do some landfill to straighten this up a bit. Don't tell me I dropped all my landfill. It's, it's right here. Okay, cool. And then... I don't think I can fit this quite the way I have in mind. I cannot, but it's probably okay. This one's obvious. This one has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But not all of it has to go through that. Might be okay. Can I move this over a tile? I can. And then... Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Lighted pylon substation. And where's our corner? Further than I would have thought. Alright, that should do it. Hurry up, Bob. And just a few more to go. Fantastic. Alright, we should be able to look at these two pumps and see that they are consistently doing 1600. Uh, water per second. That is, of course, once the water catches up. Which it looks like there's something broken along the way somewhere. This doesn't have power, that's why. How did that happen? How... Probably because I didn't go all the way up there. That, that might help. Might help. Instruction bot powers activate. And there it is. All right. I am 
am seeing numbers significantly larger than 1600 per second. Nice. Now we're short on sand. Uh, rip. Why are we short on sand of all things? Sand. Uh, uh, where else are we getting sand from? We have a dedicated sand build somewhere, right? We do. It's just not enough. Damn. What's the overall rate of this? 158 per second. Uh, and we've got four blue belts. That should be more than enough. It's less than one stack per second. How much stone do I have lying around? Do I actually need to make another block to... to process stone into sand? Doesn't look like it. Well, I don't think we've seen enough yet to make that judgment, but it looks like all of these are pretty much empty. They don't seem to be having trouble. Uh, staying empty, that is. We have a stone storage here, and it is very, very much not full. Uh, nor should it be, because we eventually turn it into landfill. Um, which is shockingly full, actually. I haven't add I haven't added something here to dispose of landfill. Um, maybe it'll come to that. Need more faster, indeed. M maybe we do go to a stone or fragment planet. I can't remember if we have one in our solar system. I don't think we do. Pretty sure we don't, but I remember seeing a stone or fragment planet and commenting how that would be a really good one, but we don't need that anymore. Let's see. 7% solar, pretty big radius, zero biters, uh, toucan in the Capella system. It's over here. That's decent. It's almost as close to the interstellar map as it gets. And guess what? We don't have to clear any biters to go get it. Sure. Let's let's add stone to our ore fragment processing. That's going to be a lot of work, but it's nothing we haven't done before. Uh, this right here is going to be the stone core fragment block. The drop-off for it. To do bio catalog 3. Do we have catalog 3s? We do not. That can wait. We've got two of the data cards. We're waiting on cryogenics and... Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, it's the first two. Um... Cryogenics and bioelectric. We're looking for significant biomass, which I only activated recently. No, we still need Vitalic Reagent for that. Which should I do first? What goes into Vitalic Reagent? Four things in, one thing out, and the recipe is... Pretty fast. And we have to use centrifuges, unfortunately. Alright, let's slap that together before we go. Should be pretty straightforward. Was there anything I had to add to this build? No, I don't think there was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This needs to say petroleum. This needs to say heavy oil. 
This needs to say lubricant. And these wires need to connect to the logistic train stop output. Alright, let's update our blueprint. So luxurious that we can do this. And then maybe... No, that's fine. Hmm. It just occurred to me. I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to create a copy. I'm going to put in a bulk rail unloader as if we needed it. Uh, we're going to take the copy. I'll even connect this here. Take the copy of that blueprint. Select new contents. And does that work? Hurry up. It does not. I thought maybe if it was selecting new contents and we didn't have the bulk rail loaders there uh, in the previous blueprint, we could find a way around that. But, alas. Okay. Uh, so, Vitalik Reagent should be a very straightforward build, unless... And this is not far-fetched. Uh, unless the throughput for some of these inputs is tricky. We're going to put a beacon here-ish. We're going to have... What were those called? Centrifuges. Maybe as many as we can fit. We'll see. Did these always take centrifuges? At the very least, we'll have... One column either side of the beacon. Is that a wide two? No, it's a wide one. We can do more speed modules because there's fewer prod modules. Negative 50% power is fine. And what kind of rate are we looking at here? Uh, if we're using purple belts... We basically need one whole belt for the lithium chloride. Um, more than half a belt for the vitamelange extract. That's a little inconvenient. And that's for only 8.3 extract per second. I have a feeling we're not going to... I mean, uh, not extract. Um, what's it called? Reagent. I have a feeling we're not going to need reagent all that fast. 16 seconds to consume four. That's if we're making AI core at full speed. What does AI core go into? Is it for science? GPS satellite... I don't think we're going to need those often. Rocket launch products. Oh? Uh? uh, mall stuff, 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 mall stuff. Uh, what is matter stabilizer used for? Empty singularity fuel cells. So this is for power plants. Okay, that's probably not that fast. Mole stuff, mole stuff, mole stuff. What's this? Matter recombination data. 
We need 25% of an AI core for that one. Metal stabilization. Okay, so... So there are a few things we're going to need this for. It's not going to be that slow. How many hours of coding will T-Hacks need to solve your pain? The Stargate? Oh no. All of the hours? Make the pain end, T-Hacks? Dial my Stargate for me? Uh, since you asked nicely. Welcome in, Mikelet. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Other than the Stargate. Should I go for this much? I kind of want to go for even more than that, but like... That's a lot of belt. Fourteen fifty-seven. How much? If if they're this close together, how much can we even input? I mean, if we do it from three belts, it would have to look like that. I could have another input belt in the middle for something slower. Or for two things that are slow? No, that doesn't work. The two slowest things, one of them is more than half of a purple belt. So unless I'm doing some sushi magic, that doesn't work out so well. How far does the purple underground reach? Oh. oh okay. Alright, so what if in the middle, where we have our output... We also have a sushi belt that's three quarters glass and one quarter vulcanite block. Um, that is significantly less than a purple belt. So then on the outside we just need vitamelange extract, more than half of a purple belt, and lithium chloride, more than half of a purple belt. So we could go two belts input on the outside. I think this will be enough to put under one beacon if we need this much belt to support it. And sushi belt input on the inside, and we'll do our output on the inside as well. What am I doing? Elk rail loader, everything is solid, right? Seems good. I don't think we're going to need two of these for a while. Mike, your math was off. Carry the two. I think his arms are tired. I caught the end of Mike Platt's stream. He was coding solution for Stargate. Very interesting. So how do you implement code in your Factorio game without making a mod? Or are you making a mod? Alright, let's say we do our sushi belt like this. And... Well, one of these is going to be the output belt, anyway. Our output rate is, like, less than... Oh, it's 16.7 per second. Out of a stack size of 50, I think. Uh, yes. So that's quite slow. Good thing we're not doing giant trains. Where's my... There it is. Good question, I don't even know. Oh, so you're just like trying to calculate it outside of the game. Fair enough. Standard pickup station, provide stack threshold 100. Short trains are probably fine. Maybe I'll just use short trains for extract, uh, for reagent. Uh. I'll still build it as if we're going to do both. It's fine. 
Okay. So we can have our output down here. Uh, where's the long arms? Output. Output. Well, we're not going to need... We're not going to need super fast inserters for the output. I don't think. That one's going to be a little different. Oh, no, it's not. And then we'll do the inputs like so. Oh, is this one going to work? It is not. Uh, I'm pretty sure this barely touches the beacon. Why do I have to have the beacon in the middle? Other than the aesthetic of it. I think that'll be fine this time. And for our input, we need to loop back up. Is that the same? Yeah, it actually is. Okay. And I might move this left or right depending depending on how it looks. Um I could just put it here. It's gonna look better in the middle, I think. All right. Wait, no, we need room for some sushi magic. So on one half of the belt, nothing but, what was it? Glass? And on the other side, glass and vulcanite blocks. Let's see. Well, let's just do this first. Lots. Uh, and these are going to be our pretend loaders, so they're going to have to have the same thing on both sides. And we want. How am I going to go about this? Like, this is what I need to do, but I want to miniaturize it as much as possible. And then that's it. That gives us 75-25. Hmm, indeed. So how do we make this as small and neat as possible? Um, probably as simple as this, honestly. Uh, can we fit that over here? Pretty much. Glass, Vulcanite block, and connect. Uh, but we also need this to go back in. Which won't be difficult, but I want it to line up nicely. If at all possible. Which is not looking... Wait, what if I... 
No, that would just... That would just compete and override these two. Uh, I could, I guess I could put this over here. Maybe I could just make the container bigger. I want this to go straight back in, like so. Good thing if the red stuff don't run out, well, it loops back. That's why it's not going to be a problem. I guess I could... Technically... Do that? not bad. It's not in a great position here. It doesn't have to line up perfectly with this. Why don't we move it over a bit so it lines up with this one. We need four inputs, right? Yes. Wait, no, we only need two inputs going into uh, the sushi part. Blue belts will be more than enough. Okay. Did I leave enough room for... Technically, yes, but I don't love the look of that. Oh. This could move one. Uh, move down one. Four, four, four. Which means all of this can move up one. Which means this lines up in the middle again. Um, and I think I want to move this over to the side a bit. Or I could just put, put these here. You know what? We super duper don't need purple belt for the output either. I could make that a yellow belt. If it's another color, it'll be clearer that that's not connected as well. Cool. Now then. We need purple belts for these two. Just enough room. Uh, if I move this over one tile, can we make it fit much more nicely? Not really, because then these won't line up. Oh wait, yes they will. Yes, they will. Cool, cool, cool. I could put filter inserters for these two, uh, so that we didn't need as much space, but we need this room anyway, kind of. Alright. Red wire across here. Green wire across here. Set filters, glass, vulcanite block, uh, 
lithium chloride and vitamelange extract. Which one do we need more of? Doesn't really make a difference, but I think I'd rather have the lithium chloride closer to the machines and extract. Can go here. Okay. So vulcanite blocks. Uh, less than something. Glass, less than something. How much should we put in here? Call it a hundred stacks of each. And glass is going to be... Wasn't lithium the bulk stuff? Yes. Or oh, lithium chloride. Seems good. Since we only have four inputs, which is less than or equal to the number of filters we can fit on an inserter, we can say set filters blacklist on these two inserters and shift right, shift left. Easy enough. Uh, and it's not going to be perfect because it's going to like put a little bit of one thing in at a time. I think it'll sort itself out in a moment though. Um, maybe we should have another one of these. There we go. Looking good. Uh, the machine at the end still has products finished zero. Let's check something. 14... Oh, there's obviously enough vulcanite blocks. Uh, three quarters of a belt of glass is... 90 times 0.75 is 67.5. There should be enough glass on the belt. Oh, now it's working. Or rather... Huh? Oh, I see. Could move that over a tile, but... No, I don't want to. Let's just do it like this, I guess. Alright, so now that it's saturated, these machines should be able to go continuously? But that's not what's happening. Why not? 90 items per second. And we're getting... Three quarters glass is 67.5 per second is greater than 57.6 per second. Was it just having trouble finding its groove? Because like inserters take a bunch all at once? No, it doesn't seem to be working properly. How you get blank map editor? The mod is called editor extensions. And once you've got that fired up, if you want a save that is just the map editor, you can create a scenario. Just go new game. Uh, if you want it to be parallel to your your saved game, just go into settings, mod settings, per player, the tab up the top. And it is testing lab. Oh, there's not. Oh, okay. How about how about some more of this? Is that gonna? Give us a constant belt. Or close enough. I could put a constant combinator on it and say negative of the really fast things. Now 
How's that? Solid belts? There we go. Friendly hello, Bonk. Verzo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Might have to take a little break soon. I'm getting a bit of a headache, actually. More water. Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Beardless Dane, Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we've had 100% uptime here for the last minute or so. Turned out to be a little trickier of a build than I expected, but it's fine. I could actually move this over two tiles and break the rule of not imposing on this side of the block, but no, it's fine. This is probably all the Vitalik Reagent will need for a very long time. I certainly hope so. Alright. Reagent provider. Requester station for... Extract... Uh, sol... Lithium Chloride, rather. Glass. And Vulcanite. That's the bare minimum to trigger a delivery. Um, Vulcanite block I don't think we have to worry about very much. We've got storage in here as well. We've actually, we can actually fit like a bit more than a trainload of each of these in here, so that's going to take up negligible storage in this space. So, uh, extract and chloride, we could maybe do like, uh... At least two train loads each. Should be fine. Yeah, I think we can double all of these, um, but we really don't need to with like vulcanite blocks or glass. Okay, how long does it take to go through a train load of extract? 173 seconds, that's not too bad. And uh, lithium chloride is going to be the bigger problem. Um, uh, 50, 100 divided by 144 is only 34.72 seconds. So we should probably summon a bit of extra. That should be okay. Uh, not fond of spamming the vanilla beacons. That makes two of us. Do you know if there's a mod that adds the beacons, the same beacon behavior to vanilla, or the same beacons, or both? Um, I don't know. I'd actually like to know. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't mind trying to make a vanilla mega base, uh, an almost vanilla mega base, with like SE style beacons with beacon sickness. Because, like you said, uh, I'm really not a fan of. Where's our regular shaped beacon? 
assembly machine three. Uh, I'm not exactly a fan of builds having to converge on looking like this. And, you know, trying to cram some belts. So that those can do their thing. I think it's really ugly. And there's not that much, you know, there's not much uh, room for creativity or anything. Alright, station name is a requester of all four of those. Uh, extract. Lith. It's right here. Glass and vulcanite block. Going into a scent. And out comes reagent. Oh, that is going to be one thirsty build. Um, we'll just get it going while we go on our quest. Wait, did I do the wires here? Yes, yes I did. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. It feels weird being forced to use these little 3x3 machines again. Did we get rid of the cheat inputs? I think we did. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing else called reagent. Alright, let's just drop that over here. Right next to the scrubbers, actually. And we should probably build it close to where we've already got... Um... Lithium sulfite? Where is that? I need to put down more concrete. It's kind of hard to see. Here it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think this is going to keep up with that build. What do you guys think? I mean, we do have quite a lot saved up, though. But, yeah. I could put it up here. Is there anything else I really want to build there? I don't think so. Let's get rid of the old power poles here. Grab our blueprint and lighted big electric pole is in the way. Wait, what? Oh, this one. There we go. Left click, no shift. Uh, we're going to need some centrifuges in the construction train, which hasn't gone home because I told it to wait for me. Let's go do that. Oops. And I'm pretty sure we have Centrifuges here, we just need to program them into the train. We'll probably stop with the wind turbines now. Maybe I should remove them. How much power are we getting from wind turbines? Let's see, 4.1k. Uh, is how many wind turbines we've got. We're getting 82 megawatt from them. Uh, 1.7 gigawatt is coming down with the space elevator. And that's by far the majority of our power. 1.4 gigawatt from the nuclear. 143 megawatt from all these old gas stations. 
yeah, I think it's I think it's time to delete the old stuff uh, that we're getting a tiny fraction of our power from, which is proportionally going to be a lot worse for UPS. Um, and then we should be able, oops, should be able to build all of this with a single visit. Probably one of the easiest builds to do so, actually. Assuming we have a 4x4, which we actually do. Fantastic. Uh, and get rid of the... the old wind mills. Alright. Oh, oh, that's our little timer, isn't it? Where is it? That's, that's kind of annoying, actually. Why is it in my left ear? Also, it just stopped. Which one was it? This one's pretty much empty. And what about the others? Oh, it's not global. That's why it was in my left ear. Okay, that makes sense. They're all ready to be replaced. Um, I want to get into my construction ship, but we should really do this now. Okay. I'm just gonna decon all of this, even though some of it's really unnecessary. Oh no. Why are you helping? That's going to complicate things. Was the drop-off the same? It's not. Mm. Player time. Player time is the more important resource here. We already spent two hours raining some of the old stuff to not waste it. Like, 99% of it. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Is there something in the way there, or is it just a rock? And a bad signal... Destroying liquids like that? I know. I've only got several hundred billion left on the planet. Uh, construction train. Wherefore art thou? Are you carrying lots of huge storage? You are now. And you don't need to be carrying centrifuges for the moment. That's weird, it's not taking them out. Uh, whatever, just come and build this. And we need to pump much water. Definitely more than a single pump's worth. 1.9k, yeah, so two pumps should be sufficient if the shape of the pipes doesn't bottleneck them too hard. Let's do steel underground. Uh, maybe to the other side? Or maybe the halfway point should be just as good. Uh, 
Did it leave? It did. I forgot. I put it on five seconds. Okay, get back here. What? No, I misclicked. There we go. Alright. Might put down a little bit of that landfill that I'm no longer carrying. Which I don't have here either. God damn it. Uh, we've got some right here. I, sh I really should be taking it from that storage where the excess stone goes. But it's probably fine. Probably fine. I could actually leave that there, but I won't. Um... Just like this. And I hope that'll be sufficient. Okay. We also need to update these ones. Uh... I could definitely see it causing some problems if I don't get rid of these. Lubricant doesn't need to be touched. And uh, this does. Dank. Dank? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, that actually goes here now. Alright, that looks pretty good. There we go. And once more with feeling. That might need a change. No, nope, they're good. Aziz Light? Artus Lakik? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what's wrong here? This underground... Oh, you can just left-click that one. Alright, so we're going to need to add some more Hmm And second thought Make that reach as far as possible And about here should be fine Actually, I feel like I should be consistent with that last part, just because. And... Around about here. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go get that done. Do I still have enough offshores on my person? Um, I don't know where they are. There we go, we've got nine. Need some steel pipe. Okay. And bring the construction train past here. That should cover everything. Uh, 
Alright, so these ones have been updated. We should have enough water throughput. And let's look at our stats for producing petroleum. Over the last hour? Ten hours? Huh, it's not as dramatic as I was expecting. Alright, let's go update. Wait. I thought I told the construction train to wait here. Betrayal? I could have sworn I said, wait till full. I guess I messed up. Actually, I should keep these pipes on me for now. Limited by oil? Um, let's see. How fast can we consume crude with these three blocks? 2.9k. The last two oil, or two or three oil things we made yesterday. 1.2 plus 1.9, so 3.1 plus 2.4. Uh... So about, I lost track, 3.9 plus 2.4? Was it? I don't know, 6 or 7,000 per second-ish. Uh, we're not there yet. So we should see crude oil consumption looking nowhere near as consistent as I thought. Well, we did just edit things. Yeah, it's gone up pretty sharply in the last few minutes, actually. Um, alright, so... Construction train... Maybe I should move... Uh, since whatever was here is gone, I should probably move the construction train so it's just in the same... Uh, same robot network as the mall. Right next door. That would probably make things easier. Something to consider. Now, we've got one, two, three more blocks to update. Wait, did I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go get rid of this one. I think I forgot to pick up... No, I didn't. Uh, I did not forget to pick up the old alarms. Fantastic. Sounds like an idea, indeed. Might need more liquid trains, quite likely. Alright, so this is pretty much empty, right? Except for the pickups, which, uh... Making a noble sacrifice. I'm pretty sure that part can stay the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. Advanced oil processing. Okay. Should be able to left click this or not. And there it is. I think our bots are having a bad time. Oh, bloody hell. Give me half of the rail like this. I don't even know what other oil 
Pumpjack feels we have right now, to be honest. I could find out, but like, they'll be slowly running out. It's fine. The voice is getting a bit raspy. Might take a break soon. These. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to update on the blueprint is we do want to allow short trains to drop off the crude oil. Stop yelling at me. Okay. Now then. Oh god, all this cryonite. Oh no. Oh no. Remember when we thought we were going to mine cryonite directly? And there was just... It was way too easy to get way too much of it? Oh no. Send help. Look at these cute little tier 2 electric mining drills. I'm feeling all nostalgic all of a sudden. This is a job for the decon train. Um, how about you go back for the moment? Turn off my roboport. Grab the decon train. And wait here until something. Blow him up? Oh no. Actually... God, I'm tempted. I'm actually tempted. But all of my shots pierce. They break other things. Um, I should actually put the decon train closer. Is what I was realizing as soon as I sent it. Because bots are exponentially slower the further they have to travel. In fact... Pick a dollies these closer. It'll help a lot. We're already full, aren't we? We've got less than three cargo wagons of storage in the decon train. Uh, Should probably get it to wait. So the bots can crawl back. Yep, that's, that helps, I guess. One more trip from the train, I think. Probably. Oh, this is all going to end up back at the mall. Yuck. I could probably turn it to landfill or something. No, I think Cryonite was one of the only things we couldn't turn into landfill, actually. Yeah, 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 I remember we had to turn it into powder and crush it. Rip. This is taking longer than expected. Alright, is the train empty at least? It is. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 go, go to the loader. Go to the loader, please. Get some bots. What? 50, 20, 45, 45. What the hell? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, just go here again. There you go. For science? No, 
I would do anything for science, but I won't do that. That's already full again? Oh, kind of yes, kind of no. Uh, what if we even distro? That didn't actually help that much. Did we pick it all up at least? I think we did. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Now we decon everything except the crude oil drop off. Oh good, another robot network that shouldn't have these things is taking it. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Oh good, even more stuff. Chests full of random things. Nice, perfect, wonderful. I'll be happy to see the back of these old oil blocks. Nope. On Storakshon train. Please park here. And auto save. My old nemesis. Oh, that is getting really slow. I wonder if we've finished. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Scanning. Bombati. Judging by the save file size, probably. Oh my god. It's starting to do the thing where it, like, teases progress. Okay, here comes the choo-choo. Fantastic. Are we going to end up with a bunch of stuff we can't deal with in this robot network? Yes, we are. Auto lag once again. <laughs> no, come back. Bloody hell. How did you... Didn't I set it to something impossible? Like full cargo? Full cargo and empty cargo. How about that then? And as per usual. Okay, I need to drop off this cryonite. The mole is just here. The bots are taking their sweet time removing such small stack sizes. That's a lot of substations. Okay. Up we go. Oh, we should really make some some spiders for deconstruction since they have the what do you call them? The trash slots. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. I'm gonna end up with full inventory from this, aren't I? Why do I have sulfur? Oh, I remember. There was like some spaghetti sulfur up here from 600 million years ago. Alright. I guess I'll drop off this crap as well. Where am I going? Where are you up, bots?
Did you put back spiders to the research queue? Oh, we finished them. Uh, I just haven't dragged some biomass downstairs. And there might have been one or uh, one or two other little things to sort out. Uh, see, here we go. We need biomass and we need portable RTG and exoskeleton. Uh, can we make... RTG and exo skeleton. Portable RTG exo skeleton. We apparently have some lying around. But yeah, we don't have biomass down here. How do we make portable RTG? We need uranium fuel cells in here. Alright. Fuel cell. And... There it is. Everything but biomass. So I just need to swing by and grab some biomass from upstairs. You removed spiders for something else. I did add them back later, indeed. Okay. Robots go. Even though I'm going to end up with all kinds of crap in my inventory. Again. And, of course, they're prioritizing filling my inventory with crap over actually building anything. Why wouldn't they do that? Okay. Alright. Let's see how it is. Yeah, this is going to take a couple of trips. Um, I wonder if I could finagle... A train to bring us some biomass. Probably way more biomass than we'll ever need, actually. Even if I try not to. Let's wait for... Item count... Biomass... Uh, greater than 50? So this will be enough for 50 spiders. And then it'll bring it back to the mall. And then we'll send it back upstairs. Here he comes. It actually picked up 60. I guess there's, like, at least two invisible inserters in the bulk rail loaders. Here comes our friend. That was actually way easier than flying up there to get it. And I don't even have to pick it up or anything. Alright, back up the elevator with you. And we need to request no mess. Just like one should be fine. Okay. Did we already make a spider? We did. We made two spiders. Fantastic. Alright, we should come back to an army of spiders after our trip. Be 
still haven't... There we go. Back we go. I'm going to think a lot harder about making temporary chests that would eventually be full of stuff. No, I remember the circumstances of when I made these. It actually made perfect sense. It's just a bit of a pain to get rid of it. So what do we want to put in our Spidertrons? Since we have uh, different toys to play with. Also, where are they? Spider-tron, Spider-tron. Oh. It says it has no fuel. Does the Spider-tron not move without fuel? That's so rude. Bruh. What's the point of it having built-in RTGs if it can't do anything without fuel cells? Ravna. What, the point of energy, though? What do you mean? Alright, so our grid is as small as ever. Um, we have some legs in here, right? Where, where be... Oh, oh here we go. I can't put them in a Spidertron. I'd better be able to put these in a Spidertron. I can. Okay. Advanced additional electric engine. 4x4, 50% 4, movement bonus, 250 kilowatts. Sounds like a bargain? Oh, it's actually more movement bonus. Okay, it's much better than an exoskeleton, but we're going to end up with this space in the middle that we can't use. Well, we can't use it for speed anyway, but we can double the Spidertron speed. Uh, that's pretty good. And it's only 250 kilowatts. We'll probably end up powering it the same way we do our locomotives. Um, if I can remember where they are. Oh, here they are. I was about to search. So that is 384 kilowatts. And our spider should be able to move depressingly slowly, actually. Let's make a Spidertron remote in... In the other of the navsat. Yeah, I'm actually really disappointed at how slow the Spidertron is with, as far as I know, the maximum speed boost I can give it. Oh. Apparently... Is it because it's nighttime? I could have sworn... Wait, 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 and furthermore, wait. Wait, this thing has no... You're joking. Does that... Does that short train have no... No bits in it? Oh, crap. What a waste. When's it coming back? Right about now. I'll just change the signal so it can't leave. Can't believe I overlooked that. Need one more. For each side, actually. No, that's right. Um, but what I was trying to look at was... I was proceeding not exactly under the assumption, I, I did an experiment, but 
but I could have sworn that the solar panels, uh, the power armor solar panels were just always maxed out. Now I need more. I, I want to get this fixed before we go. we go. And as for you, you don't need this train stop. Might need a battery, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure we ran the experiment and the trains on the ground with the solar panels, uh, running off the solar panels, were always going fast. They weren't struggling that way. How many trains do I have on the ground if it if that turns out to be false? That that's that's at least seven trains that we need to put batteries into. Oh no. Alright, stop there. And I shouldn't have crossed that track. And I'll Take a few of these downstairs, actually. And I want to run a little experiment here. Is it still nighttime? Not for long. It's a pretty normal day-night cycle. So it's not like 99% of the time we have... Um... It is... Oh, no. Okay, so we need six of our finest batteries uh, for each locomotive. Which adds up to what? Uh, space locomotive, all surfaces, entity. This many. Oh, and they're on other planets as well. Oh, no. It's not just the speed. When they're going slower, they're not getting as much fuel efficiency because of the way this works. That, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of space locomotives to update. What was that the solar panels do actually care about the sun? Yeah, turns out. I could have sworn I've seen them not care about the sun before, the power armor ones, that is. Can we make better batteries? I think we can. Uh, let's see. Tier 3? Big personal battery? We need superconductive cable to do it, though. I'll just slap a couple of these in the spider drum for the moment. And we'll see how fast it goes once that's charged. It was probably day when you tested it. Nighttime, no sun, the motors probably ran out of juice. Yeah, I don't know. I could have sworn I tested it at night. I guess not. Wait, is this train full of stuff? No, that's my inventory. Yeah. Well, I can still use this thing to get around a bit. Um, so we're going back here. Click to move is very nice, I have to say. It's definitely a bit... A bit easier than making a temp stop. As long as we're not going as far, that works out pretty well, actually. We also have all of this inventory space that we can use. 
Yeah, that does help a lot. That actually helps uh, quite a lot. Professional Dave, Soulburn, Knoised, Harvey Park. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seepercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. How's your stream today? Yeah, the inventory space alone, even though it's not that much, is a pretty big help for the Spidertron. Uh, from the Spidertron. Where's our... Oh, our bots are still crying. That's why they haven't built this stuff. And yeah, the Spidertron does indeed have trash slots, um, which unfortunately the cargo wagons cannot. That's a pretty big advantage. Are the bots okay? Yeah, they are. Looks like we've finished this build. Just one to go. Oi, Veldi. Move over deconstruction train. It's time for the arachnid of disassembly. Yes, absolutely. Just have to make a... Can we easily... I'm pretty sure with, with auto trash we definitely can. Uh, but how easily can we say auto trash everything? Oh, here we here we go. Blank. Trash unrequested items. Easy. Simple as that. All right. Uh, shall we proceed to... Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Stop, stop, stop. Construction train, go home. You are drunk. I'll do this part myself. We've, uh, strange how slow night trains not spotted till now. I think it's just because the trains are so fast. Just in general. I mean, the power that we get, uh, the speed and, and fuel efficiency that we get from the power armor stuff is just a bonus above how fast they already are, right? Get rid of all the old stuff. And that block is helping again. Not good. So how long does it take these... Oh, it's not night time now. Never mind. I know we're... Ooh, we're already down to 46 UPS. I mean, I know it's had peaks and valleys, but still. Alright, let's head back. And empty our pockets. Yeah, now we're back up to 55. 50. I really need to trim down all the old bills that have way more machines than we really need. Trash slots are full. Snow Nomad, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Alright, let's fly back up here. We'll leave the spider to get its pockets emptied. And... We're going to end up with a whole lot of crap in these chests over here. I guess that's fine. I guess that is fine. Cannot build on water. That seems to be the only problem. This is okay. Bonk. Vodlan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let me just park this construction train. And wait for inactivity. What are your specs? Uh, you can see them if you scroll down. Or I think if you type... Whoops. Specs. There we go. There we go. P. Dave? What? Alright, can we finally... Oh, look at this old thing. Productivity modules and no beacon. I left room for a beacon, but still. Jeebus. That is slow. Nice, thanks. No worries. Bulbusk, thank you very much for the three months. Much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, what is busted? I'm not sure I c if I can even be bothered to fix it properly right now. It won't have full throughput. I want to go on a space trip. Uh, and then that needs an upgrade. Did we finish it? I think we did. And I wanted to... One thing I kept forgetting to update from the blueprint. I want short trains to be allowed to drop off crude oil. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's get out of here. In fact, this right here is going to be a problem for future hacks. This made me like the Spidertron more? Uh-oh. Space Spidertron? I think I just activated the Walk of Shame. Oh, we're in the mall right now, so... No Walk of Shame. Space Spidertron. A flying Spidertron capable of traversing the zero-gravity environment of space. It also includes a dock for safe Spidertron travel on spaceships. Designed to be used with SpaceX. That is beautiful. Whoever, deserve, uh, whoever made that mod deserves chalky milk. Alright, not going to be needing steel pipe, or, well, I'm not, but whatever, I don't care if I'm carrying one stack. Um, why do I have spellivator cable here? Alright, let's hijack this train. And take it up. Spellivator. Chalky milk? What? Shmua? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Alright, are we there yet? We pretty much are. And then down the elevator with you. Now then. Now then. So what's this stone planet we're going to? Toucan. Alright then. And it's in Capellus, which is far enough away that we want to go via the Boanestra. We've got only spare spaceship parts missing here, which I guess is probably fine. We've got our cable, we've got our scaffold. I think we've got everything we need. In any case, it's only like a 12 minute trip because of Foenestra. And while we're flying, let's check in on uh, the energy beaming that is very slowly cooking these worms that are not quite next to it. It's a bit harsh. Seems the fish are immune. Good for them. Uh, but yeah, we've still got a long way to go to clear Nalvis. We've also got a long way to go, but not on the same scale, to clear Bombato with a much lower density of biters and a significantly larger radius. But once that's cleared, we've got our end game Vita Melange planet. No shortages there. Oh, and I need to unlock uh, matter stuff. Um, that would definitely help with the whole surplus of one resource, shortage of another thing. It does take a lot. Let's see. Vertical stream to stone. 1% of a matter synthesis data. 50 particle stream gives us 10 stone, 1 contaminated scrap, 1 broken data card, or 1%. And it costs a little bit of thermofluid and energy, of course. It's very fast. 1% for 10 at a crafting speed of 1, which this thing will not have. Um, we can also turn it into more exotic resources. We're going to, we're going to need some kind of central coordination to tell us how much we've got of each resource available. Whether or not we should convert particle stream to anything, and if so, what and how much. Uh, but yeah, that'll be useful. Especially as we can't avoid overflowing on various resources at the same time. Known Terminal, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't the K2 meta stuff just better slash easier? I don't know. I didn't really play with it um, in 0.5 without K2. Bigger ship soon? Not for a while, I think. Um, we're not upgrading our ships until we can get like 2,000 um, hull stress. And I believe that requires Deep Space 1 or maybe even Deep Space 2? I forget which one. It's probably Deep Space 1. Um... What's this one? Plus 100. We're at 800 right now, so this is 1,000. 1,500. 2,000. So as soon as we get Deep Space 1, Matter Pack 1, and Tier 4 of everything but Bio, and we need advanced tech cards. So not for a while. 
Um, I also still need to invent a system... What we've got works, but it's got more spaceships. Oh, that's only like two or three or four. Uh, I stand corrected. We've only got three of our, what? Twenty-two? Twenty-two spaceships, iron haulers. Only three of them are currently queued up to drop stuff off at Hagen Orbit, surprisingly enough. Uh, that might be totally acceptable, actually. I hope none of them are stuck or anything. I haven't checked on them in a long time. But if we have plenty of all of our core fragments, then it's probably safe to assume that the ships are doing their job. We're completely saturated on, weirdly enough, everything except for Immersite Cave core fragments now, which, uh, previously? That was the one that was always saturated. Hmm. But yeah, it seems to be working very well, even better than I thought it was. Um, with bigger ship, uh, bigger and fewer ships, though, uh, it's going to be more costly. Oh, there's like five of them now queued up. Uh, with bigger and fewer ships, it's going to be more costly if we have multiple ships queued up waiting for their turn to drop off. I wonder if a ship sitting here like this is really costing us any UPS, though, compared to, like, a ship that's flying flying around, shooting down asteroids. I wonder if anyone could give me some, give me some numbers on that. Because if it's negligible UPS cost when it's parked like this, it there's actually no downside to having as many ships as it takes to saturate our system. Um... Even if the ships are much larger and the volume of this or that resource that we're waiting to drop off at any given time, which might be a lot of one or the other resource, may end up being very high. Um, but yeah, it's actually it actually seems to be working incredibly well and has been for a while. We're almost at Foenestra. I think you build a 1k ship also? No. I mean, I could. What's the difference, as far as research is concerned? Oh, right. Uh, we need two more. Spaceship... Uh, this is, this is where we are now, at 800. Our ships are actually 500. Um... Well, here's the thing. Apart from needing advanced tech cards and matter, matter science packs for the next 200 integrity, um, we need Deep Space One to get antimatter engines. So we'd really just be making a slightly bigger or even twice as big uh, version of an ion hauler, which I don't think is worth the trouble. I want antimatter engines when I upgrade. What's more UPS friendly and or transport efficient? Spaceships, cargo rockets, or delivery guns? I would imagine delivery guns, but they can't go interstellar. Um, and they're a lot more they're a lot less cost effective per stack. Alright, what's our destination called again? Uh we wanted stone core fragments. And minimal solar. It's toucan. Yes, you can with toucan. Okay. Toucan orbit. Can't think of a good way to memorize that stone is a toucan. But it's fine. How many hours are you into with this playthrough? Yes. Yes, we are. A 
Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh wait, was the was the time report? It wasn't covered by chat up the whole time, was it? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, 23 days, 14 hours, 29 minutes. A toucan has a hill shaped like a pickaxe and could mine stone. <laughs> oh, you mean a bill? Yes. Bill, not hill. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. What's our ETA? 3 minutes 50. I think this is the perfect time to take a little break. I need some water. I need to stretch. I'll give it a save. I would save real quick, but that would be a lie. Let's get some words on stream, which I prepared earlier, mostly. And Vendak will probably cheer. And that save is taking its sweet time. Okay, cool. All right. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Almost there. Just as words on the stream is winding down. Fantastic. Alright. Here we are at Toucan. For our stone core fragments. With no resistance. Very, very nice. Alright, let me just... Ooh, fantastic. Nicely done. Okay. Pause the words on stream. Hide the words on stream. Uh, look at Toucan Orbit. And... We need to find 0, 0. DPS equals 0, 0, 0. An orbit. There it is. Oh, and I think we added a uh, snap to for this, didn't we? So it should be pretty easy to line up. There it is. Cannot build on empty. Hmm. What do you mean? There's our zero, zero. Okay. Cannot build on empty space. Like, what? What? Cannot place space elevator on the opposite surface. Oh, you're joking. Wait, wait, I know, I think I know what we can probably do about this. I stand corrected. It has cliffs. Oh no. Last time we were able to use picket dollies to move a stone out of the way. Did I bring... I did. I brought the space capsule. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how much solid rocket fuel do we have? All of it. Fantastic. And we're just going to go straight down to the surface. Apparently... Uh, apparently I need to empty my inventory for this. I don't have that much room right now. So I think... I'll just shove things in steel chests. No, don't don't give me more stuff right now. Chip C. That didn't do anything. Um more steel chests? If I can find anywhere to cram them in. Is there anything I desperately need to hold on to while I'm down there? Like, we're going to have the space elevator to come back up um, pretty much immediately. So, I don't think so. Oh. Wait. Jetpack. I've got my jetpack here. We've got our solid rocket fuel here. Why can't I go down to two? Um, oh, I think we need to anchor first. Pro probably? Do I need to anchor before I can use the pod to drop down to Toucan? Mr. Dane, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope, you need, uh, hope you're doing well. Do you need rocket parts? Only if I were using the space capsule to come back up. I'm going to be using the space elevator for that. We've got uh, cons only three. Um, we've got some construction bots in, uh, in this robot network here. Let's anchor first. Should leave plenty of room for the spell evader. No wonder the sh ship was, like, recalculating, um, like, doing an integrity check whenever I placed the space capsule. Alright, so we got solid rocket fuel, we've got cliff explosives. Um, with any luck, that's all we need. Launch is disabled, why? 
for no reason. Because there was no fuel, I guess. Okay. Launch. If we end up on an island or something, we've got the jetpack. We're actually pretty somewhat close to the center. Fantastic. Away we go. Is that uranium? No, that's my robo network. All right. Cliff explosive time. Uh, like that. That might be enough. We'll probably end up cliff exploding them anyway. Alright, let's try that again. Outpost goes here. Cannot place. We need one more little bit of cliff explosive. Also, I'm standing in the way. That might help. There it is. Spellevator is go. Now we just need to power it somewhat. Um, you opposite end, that might be the easiest way to do it. And we've got construction bots. Oh, there they go. Finally. I thought I'd done something wrong and stranded myself. It's fine. I would never do anything like that. So once we have a decent amount of stuff placed, um, we'll place the blueprint again, get a bunch of solar panels, get a requester chest for... Uh, for spellevator cables. We do have four logistic bots, luckily. I should have checked that as well. Anchor? Yes, indeed. You are correct. No cheating cliffs away? I would have if I could have. And I wouldn't be sorry for it. Howdy. Got bioscience packs working today. Mini yays. Fantastic. Teague, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doing good. How are you guys? Not too bad, not too bad. A little bit warm today, but other than that, okay. You can take your inventory with you. Oh, for going down to the planet? Whoopsie daisy. It's fine. We just need some power in the space elevator and to get the cables started. It's fine. I also need to do a processing block for stone core fragments. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be identical to some of our other... Well, it's not going to be quite identical, because usually stone is one of the, um, one of the waste outputs. Lighted pylon... Oh, wow, that's an old blueprint. Uh, I think we up, we did Vidamelange last, so that should be pretty good. And we'll change it to stone. Actually, let me just see the rate here. This processes 48 fragments per second. And we get a little bit of stone and some regular core fragments. As opposed to, as I expected, just stone and core fragments. All right. Let's get rid of the side output. Whoops. Uh, how about this? And then place a block on top of it. 
definitely want to set this down to 6,000 after learning that the hard way. All right, core fragment stone, less than core fragment stone, and core fragment stone, and furthermore, core fragment stone. Fantastic. Now then. I wonder if we'll get the same rate. I think I've seen it across a few uh, core fragment types. Yep, 48 per second. And that would give us 50 stone per second. Which isn't bad. 6.33 regular core fragments per second as well isn't too bad. Oops. Alright. So, from one side... We get only 25 stone per second and three vanilla core fragments. This is much slower than we usually deal with. Much, much slower. I could keep the same shape here out of laziness. I think it uses more fuel for the capsule if you're carrying a lot, though. I don't remember if that's only if you're going up or across. I don't remember if it does that if you're going down. I thought it did. Only Nervous Emergency Burn destroys 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really need to use loaders for this, but, like, I imagine they're more UPS friendly. And it's easier to just not change it, honestly. Alright, active... Oops. Let's do our... The product that we're actually deliberately making here on the left, usually. That'll be stone... Provider... And this one will be an active provider for core fragments, regular core fragments, that is. If we're doing a stack per second, that's like 100 seconds. This takes 40 seconds to fill up. And this takes time to fill up as well. I, I think we can still limit this the usual way and allow short or long trains to pick up from here. That should be fine. I could probably... No, I don't think it's even necessary. Okay. Delivery cannon chest. Let's do stone, actually. And go this way. And this stuff... Uh, the core fragments can go straight in here. And then... I guess I could make it purple belt, if only to... Oops. If only so that we don't need as many belt sections. Uh, where's my... There it is. Why not? It's not like it's expensive at this point. And we could probably just get rid of all these splitters. Bring these in a bit. I kind of want it to be the same shape as the old blocks, though. Uh, that doesn't have to be in that weird shape anymore. Let's do these in pairs like I usually do with inserters. One, two... 
Uh, three, four, I guess. Five, six, seven, eight. That looks a little weird. Probably live with it. That wasn't eight, that was six. Okay. And something similar on this side. Now day. And kind of like that, I guess. This is for the core fragments, so way less than half a belt. That should be fine. That'll be stone. And I think that's basically it. Damsel belts, indeed. Damsel belts, best belts. And ironically, how fast are the deep space? Yeah, they're the same speed as the deep space underground belt, but they are 767,000 times more attainable. Oh, right. That's not what I meant to do. Just check all of that is working. And we should end up with stone over here. And... Four fragments over here. Oh, wow. It tends to come all at once, but I don't think that's actually a problem. It's like a waterfall of stone. That's kind of cool, actually. We could probably have some nicer inserters. It's probably more UPS friendly anyway. And yeah. That'll do. Core fragment. Active provider. Provide stack threshold 100. High priority. Uh, long trains only for this one, I guess. Probably doesn't matter. And we already did the drop off stations. Is that cannon chest automatically distributing items to the bulk loaders? Yes, it's not so much the cannon chest as it is the bulk rail loaders or unloaders. If you put a chest uh, next to them like this, they'll automatically take things out or put things into them. Just like they're doing with this uh, cannon chest here as well. Alright, blueprint. Remove the cheat items. Stone. Uh, Rublon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stone CF processing. 86, 25, and 1. And that should be good to go. Put it down here. Alright. What do we got upstairs? 
Uh, a surprising lack of floor down here, which we should be able to remedy quite easily. What am I looking for? Let's get some solar panels. The surprising number of accumulators is to deal with the spikes from the space elevator when a train goes through it. Alright, uh, the bots might be a bit... a little bit of time before they place the plating so that we can put the requester chest here. Let's... Uh, maybe think about where we want to put our stone core fragment processing. And I'm thinking, like, here somewhere should be fine. We already have copper core fragments here, nice and close to this depot. I think I'll put stone here. No super definite plan like uh, tumbling satellites, hexagon base design or anything, but we generally want the very small stack size things that come down the space elevator or go up the space elevator to have a very short trip. Seems good. And construction train, please pay a visit over here. You know what I should do? I should make a bunch of... Next time I'm home, uh, next time I'm at Hagen Orbit, I should make a bunch of trains with the vanilla schedule to move things up and down the space elevator, ready to go because I have to manually put stuff into the trains to do this stuff. So I can't do it remotely. Um, but yeah, we should have our construction train arriving shortly. What? Oh, don't tell me. Did I not set it to inactivity? Now the bots are crawling back and there's going to be extra stuff in there. As long as it doesn't overfill, it's fine. It's going to overfill. It's got a bunch of stone, actually. And it's not able to empty itself. Alright. I should redesign this so that we don't use the bulk rail unloaders. Now that we've got... Um, superior filter inserters. Uh, we should be able to have some system that... Well, we've already got the system that loads them, but we should be able to have some system that unloads it. Um, I, could, I could have it automatically happen when the train gets here, dump everything into the robot network, and then... As soon as the train is empty, reload it, I guess? I mean, that's what we've been doing. But I wouldn't have to, like, give it orders to make sure that happens. Okay, construction train is already. Let's... Give it inactivity 30 seconds, and we'll see what it gets up to. Alright, we have some floor. Let's go. Give me that request to chest. I don't want to link these robot networks, though. Then you could also add some wagons? What do you mean by that? Like, make them longer? 
think I'm okay with them as they are. I like that they have a lot of acceleration. 1361 space elevator cables just to get started. Oof, owie. We've got 2.6k. Uh, plus what's in here. How many did we bring? 960 times 3, yeah. And... We need storage. Alright. Let's expand. Get the bots to do the solar panels further out. Um, actually I will put this down here for the moment. And we can do some more design work while... while that's getting filled out. It will take a little while. We're about... 20% done on the spellevator. So I can get back upstairs. I guess I could start designing our rail system. Probably just start with this. Why didn't it place? Rock is in the way. Actually, that looks pretty good. And then we need one of these. Right about here. Our first drill... It's gonna be down this way. That's not as small as it gets, is it? I like the small corners. We're gonna pick a size, let's be consistent. Uh, that's kind of a little bit out of the way, but that's fine. Stations... We want front left, I think. There it is. Why are they all rotated on the side? There we go. So something like this, perhaps? Is that... Perfect. Beautiful. Maybe I should have brought purple belt. I wasn't expecting to... to put it here, but that should be fine. I currently have 200k landfill stored in my base, only made from overflow or prod. You can multiply this number by 50 and you know how much resources you can waste in SE, indeed. We're definitely going to have... Well, we're very likely to end up having this T intersection here. Uh, might have to move it over a little bit. Like, we probably... Oh, this one doesn't have it. How's our elevator looking? Ooh, it's almost half... It's more than half done. Nice, nice, nice. Power is already super fine. And... Don't really have the scaffolding in place to expand this out. How is our solar here? 288 kilowatts each. I'm pretty sure I built this thing to have more than enough solar, even at the edge of the solar system. What do we got? 150 megawatts spare already, that's like, um, six core drills. 
Yeah, it should be fine. I'm having second thoughts about this part, though. How about... Something like this. And... Like so. We can have a corner here. And... Maybe not quite that far down, uh, far up. We want front left again, I think. No autosave. I can cover a water planet, at least? Oh god. That's one of the nice things with this outposting system. We don't care one iota if there's water on the planet or not. I should probably go check that all of our outposts are being resupplied. They should be. But basically I set it up so that an outpost has to provide something in order to be resupplied. Because it happens in the same trip. Um, could probably put this here. Wait, what was in the way? A rock. A rock? And... Maybe move this back one. I wanted to check one of the other outposts. Let's see if... Yeah, that is... Probably a bit closer than it should be. There we go. Just like that. What? 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 Why are you like this? Oh, I see. I think. I think I understand. Okay. Corner corner. I'll worry about the signals later when I can see where they fit. How's our elevator? It's working. Give me my stuff back. Actually, not all of it yet because I want to leave plenty of room for rail and four drills. And bulk rail loaders, and signals, and train stops, and we need to start charging our charging our train battery packs. All right, let me just get rid of these extra rover ports for the moment because I want to be really careful about uh, about not mixing these two robot networks. I need some robots. All of them, please. Why, why do we only have like seven here? How many do we have in here? Twenty. Somehow we're very short on construction bots. Oh, I only ever requested 50. That seems suboptimal. Jay, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so... So what? If I put all of this in... 
construction mode. Will it stop the Logibots from... I could just take the Logibots out. There are no Logibots here right now. What the hell? How did that happen? What? How did... How did our Logibots end up... Whatever, I'm not going to question it right now. Um, in that case, we should be able to... Place all of this. And get it built automatically. With no weirdness. Um, and I'm going to need some regular signals. Going to need some trains. Where are my signals at? Do we have signals? I don't see any. Are we not making regular signals back at the... No, we definitely are. Hmm. Can I handcraft some? Come to think of it, I don't think I even need them. Alright, back down the elevator we go then. Turn the robot pods on. Uh, a chain signal. Oh, that's a... Yeah, this is where we would want regular signals, actually. I need three of them. Electronic circuit and iron plate. Do I have any in here? I think I do. Never mind. Uh, do we need combinators? I think we need deciders. Uh, and we need blue belt stuff. Which should also be in here. Yeah, I see it, but I'm just going to make sure we get all of it. There we go. Oh. Down we go. And I could definitely use more than like seven construction bots. Since the bots upstairs are bottlenecking on recharging, why don't I steal a bunch of them? How am I going to do that? Come here, you. No, 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 come back. Oh. I'm suffocating. Where's my life support? Uh, no, really, where's my life support? Not here. Hmm. Oh, yes it is. There we go. Give me more blue belt. Why not? Don't see any more robots in here. They might be in here, actually. Yes, 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 yes. Give all of them to me. Much better. Alright. Robo Gobo? And like so. Um you know if this rail doesn't end up going anywhere, or even if it does, I could that reaches further than it needs to. I don't like that. I could just have the train come back this way. Fantastic. 
Get out of here, Rock. I can't use it? Remove it? Oh, I can with the nav set. Wait. What does that say? Rock does not belong to your force. <laughs> Apparently it belongs to the same force as the navigation satellite. Interesting. Okay. No, don't pick up the rocks. I don't need no stinking rocks. I mean... I, I kind of do. We, we are actually coming to this planet for the rocks, but I don't need them in my pockets right now. Too late? Oh no. Oh, I forgot to pick up the pylons. That should cover everything. Perfect. Do I have room? I do. And I'll have more room after I make these trains. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to get the batteries started charging. Um, so let's do that. Where are the batteries? I think I brought six stacks. Yeah, there's the last one. Missing right signal to the miner? You only have the left one? It's probably true. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Uh, I think I want to steal from one of my outposts grab the train schedule. Can I get a nice straight train somewhere? Apparently not. There's three trains on the whole planet. I'm pretty sure we just saw all of them. Also, this is that one that we tried trimming, but it didn't work properly. Let's have a look. Yeah. But... That, that is... Not great. It's definitely going to keep our save file a bit bigger. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything that belongs to us in this whole area. Pretty sure. Anyway, uh, what about one of our other outposts? Vitamelange planet? No. Yes. Yes. Nice and straight vit train. Where did that blueprint just go? Is it in the nav set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put the other one... Well, I'll just build two of them for now, otherwise they tend to stick to each other when they're not supposed to. Oh, I forgot I wanted to add... I forgot I wanted to add, um... Batteries to these. Oh, well, we'll have to do it another time, I guess. Or maybe never. one down here. How did I end up with not a multiple of five big power, uh, big solar panels? Why add batteries to them? No, no reason. Nothing you need to worry about. It's fine. It's fine. No reason. It's okay. Okay. Oh, that's why. Well, no, that's that doesn't actually fully explain it. 
Far left loco, closest to spell evader, indeed. You got a rocket in your pocket? I do indeed. Is that... Unnecessary? Apparently. Do we have the power poles connected? We do not. That's one of the other things I meant to go back for. Give to me the lighted pylons and the substations, please. Fantastic. Oh, and I wanted to go and place those, didn't I? Cool. One, two, three, and four. There's our first core drill. Our first stone core fragments. And I think we can see where this one's going to go. Does that line up? It do. Currently making, holy crap, already 35 core fragments per second. That's two drills. I don't think we're going to need another outpost for stone after this. Um, <laughs> I don't even think it's going to need to be very big. I, I guess I need to borrow the scanner though. I don't know what I was expecting, but 35 core fragments per second from two drills was definitely not it. And I presume we're going to find... yeah, there's some drills up there. Let's head up this way. What do you think we'll get from 16 drills? I don't think, uh... I don't think I even want to go that far. Like, I could always expand it if we need more stone, right? Uh, back at home... With tier 3 prod modules... Oh, they didn't finish it. How many is this? 12, 24? 48 would give us 50 stone per second. Okay. So, like... Three of these would give us about a stack per second of stone, not the core fragments. Of course, we get diminishing returns. Where do I want to put this? About here? Nice that there are no trees on this planet. We're going to need some signals. Two-way over here. And two-way up here, which... Assuming we're going to go this way, which I'm sure we will. Following the usual patterns. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to keep this one relatively lean. And, um, and still get a lot of core fragments. If you were really going for optimizing the end game, I guess you would remove all the outposts that are on planets below a very large radius. Alright, 
We're obviously going to go to the right over here. And probably go front left. Seems good. Whoops. And that's already signaled. We don't need to add anything there. Signaling doesn't matter anywhere near as much on these outposts because the more stations you have, the slower each station gets. So as long as you don't actually get anything stuck, uh, you don't really have to worry about throughput. Alright, um, power pole, up here, and I guess over here should be fine. No. Does that reach everything? No. That'll have to do. And those should all be lining up. Yes. Fantastic. We probably don't need any more spaceships yet, but I do need to go and make the stone core fragment drop-off version of our drop-off slash dispatching uh, spaceship docks. Oh, uh, don't forget some power up here. Might be a good idea. Tell me that's going to line up well. It is. Very nice. Perfect. And we are up to 3k per minute. Or to be precise, 49.7 per second. <clears throat> Oops, I was muted. Mute indeed, sorry about that. Not muted, just sassy? Wow, okay. Uh, so it's power of two, right? You need four drills to get the equivalent of... Uh, of the first drill 
it, 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. You need 4 drills to get the equivalent of the first drill twice. How do we express that mathematically properly? Um... Um, 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 um. I don't know, my brain is too fried, it's too hot. Can someone please calculate how many drills I need for 96 per second? Oh, I think I can. So... 96 divided by this is 3.86. We need the equivalent of four drills. We need 16. I don't know the exact figures or anything. Uh, I know how many drills we need exactly, though. 16 drills should hopefully be significantly more than we need. That's 100 stone per second. For a while, anyway. Log base 2? Oh, log scare me. Logs are terrifying. Alright, let's put... Let's put this station... How many do we have so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 15 is enough, I think. Uh, could be. Could be. Could be wrong about that. Okay. Should I just put it here? Or... I think I have room to... Maybe do it like... Th Not like that, that's for sure. Do it behind right. And we'll put our little corner. Is that a little corner? No, it's not. How did I end up with a big corner again? God. Damn it. We're just going to pretend we didn't see that. Standard corner. Right about here. And we're going to head down to these two as well. Right. Seems good. Why does it keep copy pasting the big corner? Didn't I just grab a smaller one? Apparently not. Okay, fine. This is our standard corner on this planet. We're going to be hip and do it our own way. It's fine. I didn't want perfectly uniform outposts anyway. Not that that's possible. Alright, front left goes about here. Let me reorient that, actually. And drag this over here. And the corner goes here, I believe. There we go. Alright, let's start building it. Frazzler, Frazzler, indeed. Your standard corner is a long one? No. My life is a lie. We go. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. See what? Indeed.
It was only last playthrough, uh, after literally years and years of Factorio. Well, on and off. I didn't play it as much as before I streamed it, before, uh, back then, but, um, it's only last playthrough that I started using double-headed trains. It's definitely a learning curve figuring out the signaling, but once you get it, It makes rail design so easy. Oh, can we stop scanning yet? What do we got? Will it show us uh, the core fragments like this, or is it going to be cringe like barrel? Nope, it's going to show us it like this. Okay, we've got 11 so far. If it was like barrel and that didn't show up, we could just search for the tags. Tag core scene. But yeah, as soon as we see 16 core scenes, we're going to stop scanning. And go back to scanning Bombato. I guess we could go 15 and see if uh, see if that gives us 96 per second. Which is almost 5 stacks per second, by the way. Alright. Oops. That's 12. Fantastic. Maybe I'll just continue this rail down here. I think I will, actually, no matter how things change. Let's do front right. Round about there. Well, that's a little awkward, actually, because of the train stop. What about this? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can put some sequels here. Still only 12. Nice and easy to check, though. Uh, and there's one way over here. Both of those rails, if I extend them, are a little bit awkward to get this. Hmm. And this one's in a similar boat. And we'll just do a little bit of squiggly rail, I guess. It's fine. I know I haven't put the uh, power poles down yet. I'll do it in a bit. Actually, why don't I do it while we're waiting for... Waiting for the scan. One off. You're gonna do me like this? No, it's actually more than one off because of the combinator. Speaking of, yeah, we need another one over here. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. It's fine. How many are we up to? Still 12. Oh, we're already here? 
Uh, I think I will go this way. That should just about do it. Down we go. Scan progress. We're up to 13. Two more and we'll get all our drills going and see if... That gives us 96. Because I don't want to end up with a bunch of surface area that for some re uh, some weird reason I can't trim if 96 core fragments per second is going to be enough for the whole game. That looks good. Cliff explosives. Why are you like this? There's other ones, except for that one. And that one. Let's start from the top. Ooh, one more, one more to go. And there's our signal that I almost forgot. That's a lie. I did forget about it. And I think this was the last one that needed to be placed. So we've got... One, two, three, four, eight core mining drills. Five, six, seven, eight. That looks right. Fantastic. And currently we are at 70. 70.3 70 core fragments per second. Nice soon. Still waiting for the last one to help plan where we're going to do our rail. Well, this one's obviously going straight, going further. Oh, it goes straight through there. Oh, there's, a, there's still a cliff that we're exploding. Whatever, it's fine. Um, it's kind of awkward if I do a border there. I could do behind right. And corner. Where's about there? Perfect. Yes. Why was that placed? Wait, what? Does it reach that far? What? That has to be a bug or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's max distance. Alright, fine. And 
still haven't found number 15. Stubborn. Alright, let's go build that one then. Did we get our core fragment processing build done? We did not. I probably forgot to send the train over here. Wait for inactivity. Let's see if that's enough. Maybe I should bring a Spidertron. Uh, I'm disappointed in the top speed they're able to get. For a planet this big, on the other hand, I'd be able to click to move and then focus on something else for a minute. Hmm. It's hard to focus on something for just a minute in Factorio, though. Or two, or three. Are we out of cliffies? Oh no. You gotta be kidding. Do we actually have to go back for cliffies? We've got 12 remaining. Okay. In that case... Um, just build what we can here for now. We might run out before we get our 15th drill at this rate. I did bring like four or five stacks of cliff explosives. Apparently that's not enough. I count you only need seven for this span. Okay, that's good. There it is. Stop all scans. We've found number 15. Uh, that must have been it. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, and furthermore cool. Ride the elevator. Uh, I'd better put some media defense ammo here before we... Oh, wait, we're not going up. But still, I'd better put some media defense ammo here. Um, I'd better put some robo ports. Oh wait, no, I don't want to. I forgot. I actually don't want. What I meant to say is logistic ports doing their thing just yet. Is power okay? Power is very not okay. ruh -ro. Uh, give me some scuff. And I should place it myself, actually. Much faster than the bots. Doesn't cost energy. Possible we'll need a bigger solar array than usual.
should be almost all of it. Alright. Replace. Now blueprint. And grab some solar panels and stuff. And I'm guessing that's probably actually not enough. Because we're further from the sun than usual, perhaps. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need a little bit more than usual. Okay. Alright. Let's make another trip. But first... Actually, I can do this remotely. Um, just disconnect that. How are we doing? Not as good as I thought. Disconnect. That one. That should be way more than fine. Or or not. Or not, because we're recharging these. Yeah, now we're okay actually. Alright, so we'll probably make the uh the solar panel array a bit bigger than usual. Quite a bit bigger than usual actually. Before we do go back, grab some, some more cliff explosives. And I may as well plan out and build... What am I doing? Oh. I thought we had 12 left up here. Where did I get that idea from? Oh, 14. I thought we had 14. There, are, there is 12 here. How did I miss that? Oh, I saw it, searched for Entity. Okay. We've actually got quite a few cliff explosives left. 52 to be precise. May as well start placing some extra scaffolding. We're saved, indeed. We're saved. Alright. Where are the rest of the ore drills? There's two over here in a line. That's actually super convenient. Uh, there's one straight up here. Very convenient indeed. Nothing beyond it. Uh, these two, we could maybe go straight across here for these three. And I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've already done. One, two, three, that's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Alright. I think we'll go... I think we'll go this way. Yeah, I could do a whole lot of rail for those two, why not? Also, there's no signals. Should probably line this up first. How closely lined up are they? Really closely. Let's do one straight line. Like this. Fantastic. And corner goes. 
use here. I should probably put some signals here. It depends how fast the individual drills are going to be by the time we have 15 of them. I definitely feel like I should have take, uh, brought a Spidertron. This right here would be the perfect use case to just... Um... To just click to move. And I could look at something else while we're doing this. Slightly off. That's fine. And I guess I'll pretend that's fine. How long ago did you get partnered, by the way? I feel like I only just noticed yesterday. Um, Quite a few months now, I think. You should change your emote prefix to thax. I don't know if I've got the ability to do that, actually. I might have looked already. Uh, channel... I can't remember where I need to look. Create a dashboard. Uh, channel points, emotes, drops, rewards, streaming tools? I don't think that's it. Settings, stream, channel. There's a lot under channel. Username, display name... That's not where the prefix for the emotes is. Is it under emotes? Emote prefix. Oh, I can update it now. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. I'll have a think about it. T-hacks, probably? I'll almost certainly take T-hacks. In fact... Let me lock that in before before someone else does. <laughs> update prefix. Are you sure you want to update? Yes. There was an issue. Already in use. God damn it. Someone heard me. I'll have to give that one a thunk. Something short and easy to type and easy to remember. I obviously can't use Tyran, otherwise it wouldn't have defaulted to Tyran 45. Oh, this one, that's got to be taken. Oh, Tyranno? How often can I change it? Probably not soon. 60 days. <laughs> I, I, I seriously doubt I'm going to regret changing it to Tyranno though, right? How much better could we get? THAX 420? No. THAX hype, it's official now? Nope, we missed it. <laughs> we got Tyranno though, that's actually... I'm really surprised that... T-Hacks was taken, but Tyranno was not. So emotes are going to start with Tyranno now. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so how many... Where's our next drill going to be? Oh, we need to fix this one. We need to give this one some love. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I had to wait like 60 days or something. It should be done. 
That is done. And I think that's the last of the cliffies in this area. Alright, up we go. Add some more. I can't flip this, really. Well, we've already got that. Add some more signals. I can't quite see exactly where they need to go. Let's get over there. I'm definitely bringing a spider next time, though. I can click to move and then jump into... Oh, wait, no. I don't think I can click to move and then jump into the editor. I think like a train, it'll spit me out. Uh, front left, I guess. That's actually perfect. Up we go. Does that cover everything? Just barely. Cool, cool, cool. Turan 45 spider? Aren't we all gonna miss the text-to-speech when someone says Turan 45 something something though? Was that not the highlight of the stream? Is it just these three now? How many do we have? Entity, core drill, we have 12. Yes, it is. All right, so I think I wanted to do just this rail going left. And yeah, probably just like that. Let's figure out the limit of it first. So it's going to go down here, and across here, and down here. There are trees on this planet. The kind of terrible fake trees that we have to destroy. But luckily we missed all of them. Well, I think we missed all of them. Do we have a corner? Kind of. Uh, doesn't go back forever. How about this? Fantastic. And then... The spider could be walking towards this stuff as I was designing it. That'd be nice. Uh, I can pr probably... Copy paste this. I mean, the drill won't line up. Set. Oh, does it? No. One off. Close enough. Now give me that corner. Which I forgot to copy paste. And there's one left. I think we'll do it this way. Front. Right. Like so. Perfect. And... Beautiful. How many trains do, do you plan to use for this system? Three. Three should be more than enough. They pick up... Uh... Uh, 2,000 core fragments. Every... trip.
they're also very fast. Should probably design the power poles before I keep going. Oh, really? No, that's... No, that's terrible. Oh, no, that's almost perfect, actually. Pretty good. No, I was doing substation pylons. Ah, uh, I wanted to do the substations and then the pylons. I mean, the, you, you know what I mean, P probably. And over here. That actually covers everything. And down here. That should cover everything. Nice. Probably shouldn't connect them. Oh, they won't be connected. Just yet. I need some water. Uh, anything that impairs your awareness, the more you need it, the less aware that you... the less aware that you are that you need it. There we go. Tyranno hot, indeed. Tyranno hot. That might actually be a emote idea. I've got a lot of emote slots that I haven't used at the moment. I was kind of waiting on... Oh, we need... No, we're good. I was kind of waiting on some... I have to probably have to do it myself. Did I run out of... Pylons? Uh, kind of, yes. Do I have more upstairs? I know I've got a few substation pylons here. Which ones are these? Lighted pylon. Okay. It's gonna bug me if those are all needless substation pylons. I'll know. And some of you will too. Tyranno dog? Oh no. I wish that one wasn't needed. Honestly. If you're gonna have a pet, learn to train it. Before you get the pet, not after. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we did actually run out of cliff explosives. We are missing one. One cliff explosive. Uh, where was it? For the entire build. If you can believe that. We, we didn't leave any in here. I'm pretty sure I got them. 
Yeah, no. One cliff explosive. Really? Well, we have to come back here anyway. Uh, we should have some charged. Not as many as I would have expected. Oh, I see. It's limiting it to 60, I think. Give me those. Yep, 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 yep. Chuck them in the train while I'm here. Make sure everyone gets some. And what have we got left? Ten? Just chuck them in here. Cool, cool, cool. There's no need to run the trains just yet. It'll just drain out. Oof. Much smaller space elevator cable supply than I would like to see. Uh, faster than it otherwise would. Let's hurry up and get this thing going. We need to get rid of the extra... Robopod, because these need to be two separate robo networks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's not part of the blueprint. It is not. And do I have? I guess I'll put some logi bots in. Why not? Oh, I should put some in the other side as well. And then... Back to Hagen Orbit, I think. My inventory is pretty damn full, actually. I might not be able to pick up all of this stuff. Oh, I can chuck stuff in here. Uh, it's not strictly necessary to do this, but it would, um, oh, we've got more solar panels. Oh, and I don't really have room for them. I guess I could leave some here. Where did I put them? What was I saying? Tyranno brain melt. Um, I think it's time to head back. And no, 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 Foenestra. Otherwise, it would take. Uh, let's see. New plus forty. About forty-one minutes to get back to Hagen orbit. Or, we could go four and a half minutes twice. Just go around cliff? Never. Oh crap, I forgot to remove this. The whole point of emptying those chests was so that we could go a little bit faster. There we go. Uh, in fact... Technically, I could remove these chests. Oh, we're not going to... No, the container stress is already underneath the whole stress. That won't accomplish anything. <laughs> it only goes by whatever's larger here. That did literally nothing for us. Which is kind of good, because I don't want to have to, like, tear them up to make the most of our ship. We only do straight lines in this channel. Sometimes. Oh, I keep forgetting how long the autosave is. Still not brave enough to not have an autosave every hour, though. Yeah, 
it is not even moving yet. Maybe I should fire up words on stream whenever we see the autosave start. It's better this way. Six months later, autosave complete, indeed. Scrappy Dappy Doo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So we'll be home in about seven minutes, as long as I don't forget to change our destination when we get to Foenestra. Thank you, good sir. Happy to be here. Thank you. Play for 30 minutes, autosave for 30 minutes. Wow, okay. How's our orbital science doing at this stage? And um, what are we missing here? Oh, we're not actually missing anything. I just haven't upgraded the... Where the hell is the... I kind of sort of left the scaffolding train here for 600 years. Sorry about that. Let's just wait for inactivity. It's not actually going to take that long. Well, at least we didn't have to wait long for the train to get here. Now then, what about the actual science? We still only have these two data cards on the tier 3 analog. We're very, very saturated on biochemical resistance data. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. We need the significant biomass. That's the difference between these ones. But why haven't we... Yeah, that's a good reason. Vitalic reagent. I did the build. I'm pretty sure I built it. Um, is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did the build, however, even if there's already a train load here, um, I haven't actually scheduled a train to... I never switched this on. I never switched on the constant combinator here. Alright, we have one, two, three out of four trains that I would like to see on the way here, if this is going to work soon. Uh, I'm going to guess we're missing... Vita Melange Extract. And... That's actually two train loads of Lithium Chloride, so we could also be missing Glass. Whoa. Fast train is fast. I've been save scumming in XCOM 2 War of the Chosen and still can't fight Spectres. I, I can relate to that. Pretty much. Uh, honestly, my tactic for Spectres is don't give them a single action. And yes, that is not something you can just do whenever you want. Um, they are that bad. Uh... You're on the way back. You're bringing sulfur. You're bringing, I mean chloride. You're bringing chloride as well. So both glass and extract are showing no signs of being picked up here. Oh. I think I, um, I was going to say I think I need to rethink my spice prioritization system here, but... Oh, what's what's going on here? This is a LTN train. And this is a vanilla train waiting its turn. That's probably fine. Are we at Foenestra? We are almost at Foenestra. You can't trust the travel time ETA, but you can trust 
Spatial distortion. Once it reaches 10k, we are at Phonestra. And then we just swap over our destination. Unfortunately, even if we automate this, um, we lose all of our speed the moment that we get to Phonestra. But it's a small price to pay for getting there, what, five times faster? Yeah, about five times faster, if not more. Depending on where we're going. The further we're traveling, uh, the more time we're saving. This is to travel from uh, Calidus to Capellus. Or back the other way. It is actually one of the most distant stars we've found. I've... <laughs> You know, I've kind of lost all sense of how far away the stars are. Because every single one of them is well within reach. Cool, cool, cool. Speaking of which, why don't we do some more zone discovery? Seems reasonable. Maybe I should, maybe I should mod War of the Chosen and just like, well, I was going to say remove spectres. If there's a mod that does that, I would use it. But then the thing that got me to finally stop last time was an Archon using wall hack, I think. Unless, no, I was going to say unless another enemy could see where, was it Sigma Bean was? But I wouldn't have put him there if that were true, because he would have been flanked. But yeah, we we ran Sigma Bean away from that ridiculous spawn, hit him behind a wall, and the Archon just double moved and then meleeed to exactly where he was. Cool and normal. I've wanted a game like XCOM, but without nearly as much BS for a very long time. Actually, uh, one of those, one, one game that's kind of like that, that exists, is Into the Breach. The only RNG you're dealing with there is like, what missions will I have to choose from? Where will the enemies spawn next turn? That sort of thing. There's no... 95% chance to hit. Oops, we did nothing. Alright, we found Aporia. And it is a copper... It is a massive copper core fragment planet with 7% solar in the Cordova system, which is just over here. Very, very close to the interstellar map. Um... If we didn't already have a massive copper core fragment planet right next door, that would be very enticing indeed. Uh, but not only do we already have it, but we already have um, core mining drills on it. And the only need, the only thing we need to update here is we've got this rudimentary version of. Uh, of the standardized outpost. And I used the... the spaceship that we found... before we could make any spaceships. Um, slapped this thing together. Which was surprisingly good, with um, solar power and an ion drive and some laser turrets. I, I put in some uh, some gun turrets just in case. Those are automatically resupplied. I didn't just slap that in there. There's actually a pro, pro gamer move here whereby the inserters will put the ammo here and then the ship will land and then the ammo is in the turret. Um, so it'll put Normally inserters would only put like, what, 10 ammo in a gun? 
this way we get the maximum. Um, but yeah, those gun turrets have done basically nothing this whole time. What else did we get? Magmin. Last playthrough, a copper core fragment planet would have been an amazing find. Magmin? Did I typo that? It's another stone one. We've already got our, our endgame stone system. We're literally in the middle of setting it up. What else you got? We'll know in about 20 seconds or so. And we're home. Fantastic. Get this stone out of here. So there's room for the spellevator cables. And I should really make a shortcut for this. Was it in the Capella system? I believe it was. Toucan... Uh, create a new pin. Stone core fragment. Uh, no hotkey. You can. I think this part was superfluous, actually. What were these called? Outpost pickup. How do I edit it? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Why is it under miscellaneous? Why is this one under miscellaneous? Or is it because these are the only ones that are not in the same system? As some other one. That's probably why. These two are in Kalmea. These are all in Calidus. These are all on Nalvis. You get the idea. Cool. So, we have... 1.1k, um, we've got 241 minutes to replace some space elevator cable here before the spell elevator breaks, and we waste a bunch of cable, I think, is how that works. Pro gamer move, in move indeed. I wanted to check if... I, I presume we're not, like, somehow wasting one magazine every time it comes here. Pro probably. If this gets, like, deleted somehow, but I don't think that's what's happening. I think it just gets left there. If there's no room in the gun turret. Let me just double check on our elevator cables. They are extremely saturated. We love to see it happen. And continue to happen indefinitely. So that's good. The belt is so fast I can't really even see the, uh, the sushi properly. But it's working. Alright, bit more scaffolding and we'll be off. Uh, I need to make sure we get some... Whoop, don't. Don't, don't, don't. I, I think I ran out of solid rocket fuel somehow. Yeah, I must have tossed it in there. Don't get run over. Oh, that is where the solid rocket fuel goes. This is not. That's where the spell elevator cable goes. Uh, and we don't need this right now. Universal simulation has been done ski. We've got Ender and we've got Eagle Song. And then. J Jeroen, I guess? Ender is a coal core fragment planet. I don't know if we've seen one of those yet. Yeah, there's a few actually. Uh, it is pretty close to the interstellar map, probably. Decent radius. 
it's probably by far the best candidate for coal we've found so far. And now that I think about it, um, I was looking at how slow oil core fragment uh, processing was, how, how little oil we were getting out of it. But we, I, I do remember getting coal core fragments, and those were definitely not bad last playthrough. And this playthrough, we have a little thing called coal filtration, which gives us heavy oil, from which we can get every type of oil. In fact, it turned out to be, once we have tier 3 prod modules, I wish I'd noticed this sooner, the best way to get oil uh, was the one that leans heavily towards heavy oil, no pun intended. Uh, because there's more steps with productivity bonuses, with the, uh... Ooh, that's a lot of petroleum. That's an extremely good sign. Yeah, that's really good. But yeah, um, for an infinite supply, rather than bothering with oil core fragments, uh, of which I haven't seen a good source yet, I don't think... Uh, there is a 9k radius planet, but it's kind of close to the sun. Uh, but looking at oil core fragment processing, the amount of crude oil coming from that was really disappointing. I think we'd probably be better off to get oil, specifically, going for coal core fragments. Which we'll want to do at some point anyway. So, yeah. Wait a sec, did I, did I look at that backwards? Uh, I kind of did. <laughs> coal filtration is the opposite of coal liquefaction. We turn oil into coal, because we had practically infinite oil on this planet and no coal. Eagle Wolf, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, coal liquefaction. I kind of want to do a little experiment slash math. Uh, I don't want to forget to bring cliff explosives. Do we have a request for those? We do. There's none here. Are we making them here? Or did I just like somehow always have them by coincidence? How can we make them? Barrel, explosives, and grenade. That's easy. That's actually... really easy. Um, where do I want to... on which combinator do I want to put the cliff explosions? Here we go. Cliff explosives. Uh, make it I don't know, 400. Way more than we should need is the goal. You should prod that build. Uh, which one? Oh, I can't, I can't. I mean, there are parts of it I haven't prodded that I should, yes. Which is to say the fracking. Which I should put in bigger chemical plants anyway. So I should just redesign this. Uh, this part I could prod as well, which I haven't yet. Um, but this step actually doesn't allow us to use prod modules, unless you count cheat prod modules. Uh, but yeah, we should do a redesign. There's only two blocks of these, so it should be easy to replace. I could still do the same orientation, perhaps, and leave the stations in the same place, so that we can easily... easily replace it. Uh, but the experiment that I wanted to run is what if we have X number of uh, crude oil or fragment processing. Let's say we have exactly what we need to keep up with one block. Okay. So we're going to get 
So our goal here is crude oil, and we're going to ignore that, you know, regular core fragment leads to coal. That's just a little bit. 253 crude oil per second, 48 per second. If we were to use... Right, let me write that down. 253. Um, oil... Uh, 253. 48 per second. Okay. Now, if we were to get coal core fragments, and let's pretend that our only object here is to get crude oil, Which it's not. We will be needing coal for some other things, but let's ignore that for now. Uh, that is 50.688 coal per second, just like with the stone. Um, now, how much... How much... Uh, it's coal liquefaction, isn't it? It's coal liquefaction. I'm pretty sure... I think it'll be easier if I search based on oil. Coal liquefaction. The only way we can prod module it is if it's in an oil refinery. And there's only one version of it, right? Unless we can't coke liquefaction. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, worth the trouble. Or not. Coal liquefaction. Okay. Let's not compare these just yet. Let's say we take coal liquefaction. And we're at prod 3 still. For every... Well, let's see. 50... 50.688. 50. Per second. That's actually pretty close. Um, we get 500 heavy oil. 124 light and 62 petroleum. 500, 124, 62. Whereas if we're doing this recipe uh, what was it 253 I think we're getting a lot more if if we're chasing coal core fragments instead of crude oil core fragments specifically and for nothing else to make oil, we're getting more by getting coal core fragments and doing coal liquefaction. And that's with tier 3 prods. And that's without considering the prod bonuses from fracking more heavy oil. Um, but yeah, it is it is way, way more heavy oil that we get out of that. Enforcer, thank you for the follow. You should prod that build, 375, some are used up. Some are used up. Wait, what do you mean? What are used up? So yeah, uh, we're definitely never going to get... Uh, crude oil core fragments. They're shockingly and horribly slow. Now then, what are we missing here? Grenade and empty barrel. I'm a little... Well, grenade and empty barrel are going to come first, so that shouldn't be a problem, actually. Grenade... and empty barrel. Uh, and we're going to have to allow those prereqs to stay in that chest. 
Why do I want to squeeze this in? Renate. Battle? Barrel. Empty barrel. Okay. We don't have coal in here, apparently. Yeah, that was actually the first time we put coal in this chest. Um, up to 100. How full is it? It's still got so much space left over. Uh, and what was the other thing? I think we already have barrels. We have 4.6 thousand barrels lying around. Might just put them here. Next to the thing that first made us request them. Cool, there's our clip explosives. Pretty sure we'll have the amount that I requested pretty quickly. You need heavy oil to make heavy oil from coal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a problem. It's actually pretty easy with LTN to set up a, a, a drop-off that's like... Uh, it, it's a drop-off where you request the initial bit of heavy oil, and then after that you just... It's only a pickup station, effectively. You're basically trying to keep a minimum there, which is, you know, just enough to make the, uh, just enough to make the coal liquefaction loop get started. So now I really want to find a coal core fragment planet. Did we look at all these planets? I don't think so. Um, what was the last one I looked at? Was it Ender? Yeah, that's probably what got me started talking about it. Um, and then we've got Eagle Song. That's really tiny. We're not going there. Uh, Jeroen? Ger I'm just going to call it Jer... 5k iron. And really close to the interstellar map by the look of it, in the Tanius system. Uh, I think we'll probably look around a bit more. We'll, we'll go for a, a bigger planet so that we can get as much as possible out of as small as as small an area as possible, just because that's better for UPS. And uh, what else do we have? Galoon. That is crude oil, and it's quite small. Um, and last is Star Fury. That's a cool name. It's stone. We already have stone. We're, I mean, we're in the middle of sorting out stone. Should I do the drop-off for stone before we go? Probably. Let's blueprint... Oh, let's blueprint one of the ones without a ship. And... I'll edit it in the editor. Strangely enough. Chuck that in here. Should I... I think I can get this done remotely. While we're flying. Let's do that. We got more solar panels, we got scaffolding, we got spellvator cables, we got a rocket fuel, we've got cliff 80 cliff explosives. Fantastic. We should have all the tools we need to finish the build. Oh, I wanted to bring batteries. I want to go to the trouble of making the best batteries we can. And first, um, 
Are there any just barely behind a research or two? Energy 3 advanced tech card. Oh, this is for robots. Worker robot battery plus 60%. Hell yes. Uh, but it looks like we're already at the top tier of personal batteries. Cool. So I won't have to do that again. Um, I'm carrying around these Mark IIs. We need two of those. Superconductive cable processing unit and lithium sulfur. Can we make them on the ground? Big personal... Big personal battery Mark III. We can indeed. I don't know if we can prod module that. Should be right here. We cannot. So if it's convenient, we may as well make it in space. But we've already got big personal battery Mark II automated here. The only thing is... Uh, literally the only thing is getting superconductive cable down there. Do I want to automate a train to do that, or do I want to just grab a bunch of it? How much does a train load make for these batteries? We're not going to need them very often, right? It's only when we're making a new train, or a Spidertron or something. Four. So two stacks makes 25. Uh... Twelve hundred and fifty. That sounds like enough. The last is a good long while. Uh, I might just borrow a train. Grab one of the uh, LTN trains. I don't really need to be riding it, but it does make it a bit easy to find it. After it goes through the elevator. Alright. Go forth and pick up... Superconductive... Cable. Go downstairs. And then we'll drop it off at the mall. Just as a one-off. Turn to more empty cargo. That's not quite gonna work the way I had in mind. Destination foot. Go here first. Okay, just, just, just temp stop. Don't worry about it. Fuck yourself over here. Um, fantastic. I think I might do this the easy way. Where, where, where are my superior inserters? There we go. Uh, and we want to add, let's find signal, no, not that one. That's a lot of signals to search, actually. Big personal battery, Mark II. And, huh. Did I, did I stop automating that? I, I was looking for it on a constant combinator. We're only automating big personal battery mark one, apparently. I guess I just handcrafted these. Well, the next one's easy enough. So 
big one costs little ones. But then the next tier of big ones only costs the previous tier of big ones. Right? Yeah. Alright, so if we say big person and once more with feeling. That should be all it takes to get that fully automated. Oh, there's probably no request here for superconductive cable, actually. And I think I forgot this was supposed to be negative. I did. I'm amazed this worked earlier. I've been putting these in wrong all day. I guess I didn't have to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, that's why these are going around in circles. I paid so little attention to the bots, they were just like background radiation. Meanwhile, they've been looping the stuff needlessly. Still happening with a couple of items here. Computers? And labs, I guess. Why are they even putting labs in there? Just, just stop. There we go. Alright, did we get our batteries? We're missing processing units. What? That's not true, that's impossible. Okay, that's true and it's terrifying. Where are we making processing units? There's actually lots of processing units here. Asterisk. What are we missing? Advanced circuits? Uh-oh. Oh, that's an old build. I think I switched it up. Switched that one off. I did not. I should have. Is that really... Holy crap. Is that really our only build for processing units? It actually is. Oh no. Oh no. Um, did we already make a build and I just forgot to, to put it in somewhere? Basic processing. No, I, I'm pretty sure... No, I think I remember. Where's the blueprint? I was making... I was making it with advanced assembly machines, and I was considering doing a build that used crafting combinators to say... Depending on whether or not we have the superconductive cable, just like this one, set the recipe that does or does not take advantage of superconductive... Oh, sorry, holmium cable. But... Apparently I never actually built it. Also, our red circuits are not looking that good. Because why? The electronic... Components. Don't tell me that traces back to stone. I think it does. We're short on silicon. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have some processing units on me. We could make a few of these. No, yay. 
big personal battery need Mark II needs to go in here. Wow, that one's slow. I only need like, well, ideally 3, 6, 18 uh, to fill up the trains when we go back there with the big personal batteries. Um, at the very least, as a quick stopgap. You know what? This is fine. Well, no, not all of this is fine. Uh, we're bottlenecked on... We're bottlenecked on resources right now, and the advanced assembly machines don't actually give us more prod modules, not like with chemical plants. So... This is okay. We can leave this running for the moment. But more importantly, we're not getting any damn processes anyway. We, we really need to go and sort out... There's probably a million processing units in orbit if I really need them. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's always that. And because I set the provide stack threshold so high, there's always these that I can just take directly. Uh, Spidertron, you want to give me a hand? Just shovel them in there. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mistakes were made, indeed they were. So we need to hurry up and rapidly Is that going in the spider trun? It is not. Because because even distribution doesn't put it in if the logistic request says no processing units. Okay. That might take longer than we think, so let's help the bots pick them up, at least in the areas where we're not going to pick stuff up off the belt. Uh, so many squirrels. I am squirrel incarnate. I guess I could get the... whoops. Get the decon train to come pick these up. Those would end up back in the mall. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Much easier. Wait for inactivity and then go empty. And burr. Alright. Mr. Spider, you may go. Well, that's actually kind of fast. It doesn't help we're on 50 UPS. What's his speed? It would be easier if I was riding it to mouse over him to see it. Is this thing still... How about a little bit more? I threw it on the ground. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Damn it. Missed it by that much. Okay. Da, 
that's a good junk, uh, chunk of processing units to get those batteries made. Until we get stone flowing from our new outpost, which will solve all of our stone related problems instantly and forever. Because that's how that works. Did the bots actually pick them all up? Yeah, they did. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I wanted 18 uh, of the biggest batteries, if I may. Battery storage. What do we got? Four. That is a significantly smaller number than 18. This one's not getting the big personals. That's why. Or I got distracted. Big personal battery. Bigger personal battery. And there we go. Now it's got a lot of catching up to do because I am a duck. Where's our power? Still pretty good. Ascending... How much down the spell elevator? Only 1.7 gigawatt. As in, we could still send 4.3. That is a long recipe. 60 seconds. Alright, so... Big personal battery, Mark 3. Did I cram any in here? Nope, those are Mark 2s. In fact, let me borrow those. And what do we got? Nine? We're halfway there. Beautiful. Alright, while that is cooking, don't forget to empty the belts. Oh, they didn't drop on the belts. I don't... Hmm. They did drop on the belts, as a matter of fact. So normal speed is like 40-something kph. We're obviously not getting the value of our two additional electric engines right now. Should probably bring Spidey in my pocket. Yeah, let's do that. Um, there we go. And there we go. Oh, oh, I picked up the ra rare metal. Ooh, I touched it. And there we go. To base. Um, since this is so empty, it would be a pretty good opportunity to replace it, though. This is not our priority. We need to get the sand flowing first. Much important. I guess I could tap a stone mine. Uh, if we could find one. Yeah, remember... Remember how hard it was to get stone on this planet back before we started getting so many core fragments it sort of pushed it over the edge, but then we must have overconsumed for where we're up to. 
The sand must flow, indeed. Mr. Nafka. Phoenix. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We have 18 batteries. Beautiful. I wouldn't mind a 19th one, just so we can give it to our Spidertron. Don't tell me we stopped at exactly 18. No, no, we're good. Much schnell bitte. Such a long recipe. And there it is. You can have this one. Why is this empty right now? I wish we could see how much power we're getting. Um, but obviously from the dark shadows, it's not much right now. E Wait, what? There we go. Uh, it's actually the middle of the night. So there is that. I don't know if it'll keep the charge when I... What did... No, 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 no. I forgot. Oh no. That means that we can't really carry Spidertrons around with us all the time. I mean, I kind of can because... The... Spaceship will have a bunch of fuel cells, but still, that is really annoying. God damn it. Wow, we already have six more of these? Sure, I'll take them. Just chuck them in my power armor so they don't take up space. For the moment. And they'll be there if I need them. Now then, uh, I did mean to ride this back up the elevator, and it should reset its schedule the moment that it gets to an LTN train stop. In which case, I should probably give it a temp stop to take us to the mall first. Wait for passenger not present. Oh, I was going to build... You yeah, know, I'll do that while I'm in flight. I'm pretty sure I can do this one remotely. We're basically copy-paste editing one of these. Away we go. And I should probably keep an eye on that train. Because uh, I want to confirm... No matter what its schedule is, whether you made it manually, or it was automatically triggered, or if it's scheduled to go down the space elevator, it's gone. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's go to Foenestra. I did check previously, we've already got the stuff that we want in this ship. Uh, we have a bunch of used up fuel cells, we're not recycling. We'll have to do something about that. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So the first recipients of our big new batteries, other than the spider, are going to be... the trains at the new outpost. Which we can configure while we're on our way there. What's the orbit? Planet orbit 173. Planet orbit only 173. Was it? 173. Okay. Okay. And we do go via Foenestra. 
And the rest of that can probably stay the same. Whoops. Uh, this thing needs to be set... Oh, I need to update this. I haven't updated the blueprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll have a look at one of the other outposts when I get there. But this part is going to be basically unchanged. Looking for... Uh, stone. Bracket stone will give us... Four fragment stone. Uh, and the address again is Planet Orbit 173. One of these signals is technically redundant, but I don't care. Oh, wait, one of these is probably supposed to be home base. Um. Which goes to the memory cell? It's red, isn't it? It's this one. So this will be Moon Orbit of Hagen, which is 1180. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of remember that because it just so happened that the Moon Orbit... Uh, the Moon Orbit of the, the home base in the test game was one off this one. Uh, and what clamp ID is going to be stone? Stone core fragment is six, which means this one is going to be one plus five. And if that is equal to six, pass everything through. And I think this right here was actually supposed to be uh, Moon Orbit 1180. Well, let me check via this thing. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this here is... yeah. Anomaly only, if we're using the anomaly. And this is Moon Orbit 1180. Okay. So that's what gets passed to the memory cell, which is going to be used to switch over our destination once we get to Foenestra. And we need to change everything that says Prinite Core Fragment to stone core fragment. There's a couple of hidden ones uh, right about here. And basically the only reason we have that up here is just kind of a sneaky way to check if there's a ship here without adding more combinators than we would otherwise need. What the hell? Zero times negative one? Did I like click this and not finish what I was doing earlier? Because I'm pretty sure this... No, I'm very sure this is... Or fragment times negative one. It's subtracting... From the robot network what's in here so that we know what's in the ship. Because we can't read it directly with set request. And then... Core fragment stone. Um... This one's probably completely unnecessary. This will be central dispatch. Uh, this is our address, plus whether or not we use the anomaly to get here. These two are no longer used. Uh, and I'll figure out the rest of these based on the other outposts. And this is a uh, central clock. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Now then. We're already at Foe Nestra? Alright. What was that plant called again? I almost said Pelican. Toucan. Toucan Orbit. Now. I don't think we have a way to clamp there automatically, but let's just switch the safety on. And the thing that I wanted to edit while we're in flight... Uh, we'll do it in the editor space first. Is this... Oh, wait, where is it? Down here, I think. Fantastic. Wait, what? Rocklaw, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Flat solar panel is in the way. We'll see about that. It's wild just how much better off you are getting coal core fragments for the purpose of getting oil than getting oil core fragments. I wonder if that's deliberate or if they if it was kind of an oversight. Um all right, so what do we have to change here? Core fragment stone. Uh we need to whitelist core fragment stone and not any others. We need to set this to look for core fragment stone. This to output as stone. And I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that's almost everything. We need to change this to the ID for stone. I believe it was six. And this one. And this one. And just because I like to set it up this way, this one. Perfect. You know what? I should use... Uh, I should use the fancy floor for that bit. It looks much nicer. And that one's a vanilla stop. Okay. So is this, it's just got a signal here. Seems good. You hope? Stone drop off. Uh oh. What? Why did it change that? I definitely didn't type. 70 here. What is it doing? What the hell has happened to our... Holy crap. What? What the... What? What are you... Okay. How about this then? Let's just blueprint this part. And not worry about the snap too. And see how that goes. Okay. I'm just going to toss this down here. What's our ETA? 1 minute 10. Oh no, indeed. D hose. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, I think we started at 2 for some reason. Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool, cool. That makes sense. Alright. 
First we need our hero. The scaffolding train. Wait for inactivity after 30 seconds at least. Dentist just told me everything is great. Best feeling. Nice. Very nice, actually. Have we... Have we still made zero... Oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't made the train. I forgot to make the train to take up Vitalik Reagent. How much have we got? Did, did we get any Vitalik Reagent? We did not, because we've got zero glass, and for some reason zero extract. Hmm. Why is Vitamelange stopped? Because sand. Because everything needs sand. Of course it does. Uh, should probably stop requesting water here since um since we've got pumps constantly supplying. Oh. And, and, and we just happen to have at least a train load of sand here. Well, that won't last too long. It's 30 sand for 30 Vitamelange Bloom, plus uh, 1.32. Times 1.32, rather, because prod modules. Considering sand stacks to 200, uh, one stack is going to give us more than four stacks of Bloom. So that should be like four approaching five train loads of Bloom. And then 200 bloom makes 40 spice. That's not that great. All right, we are here. Let's land. And give me my cliff explosions. I think I've already got everything else I need except for maybe some more drills. Um, I definitely don't need any landfill right now. Oh. I definitely need to start placing more solar panels before I connect all of this. Whatever, I'll, I'll do the, uh... Can I hold this in my hand and ride the elevator? I actually can. Where'd it go? There we go. Alright, so we are going over here, I think it was. Yes, I'm pretty sure over here somewhere is where we need the last of the cliff explosives. Literally just one. I can't believe we were one off. I mean, I kind of can, actually. Sort of. When the Spidertrons stop, like, even for a moment at one of these points, their robots tend to decide to do things. I don't know if me riding in the Spidertron is going to have the same effect. Oh, batteries. Wait, you've already got batteries. What? It's not night time here. Why are you... Why are you so slow right now? 384 kilowatt... Don't tell me. Don't tell me even though it says 384 kilowatt we're not getting that because of distance. And it's not showing us how much less we're getting. Uh, yuck. Okay. Yep, it's a lot faster now. Okay. Just needs to charge up for a while before he can sprint. 
He's chilling, indeed. Now, I'm pretty sure if I jump into the editor... Huh? Oh, this is... this is in the editor. Well, that's probably fine. <laughs> that's... that's fine. But yeah, no, if I jump into the editor, I fall out of any vehicle. Most unfortunate. So I have to stay out of the editor if I want to ride the Spidertron. Uh, I can do that while we fix this thing up. Looks good. And it's time for construction train to shine. I left the poor guy over here. Hopefully he's carrying enough to get this done right now. One can hope. I don't think I gave him a spaceship clamp, as a matter of course. It's autosave. Have a nice day slash night, everyone. Thought you were going to say night cycle. Larius, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Zero Z Shadow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, that is a long one. It's actually about time to finish for today as well. Let me see who's streaming while we're auto-saving. I might do a couple of things more real quick first. But it's almost time to finish for today. Thank you, Peltec. I do want to get this built. I don't want to have to remember that I'm halfway through it. And yeah, there's no, there's no clamp here, it looks like. We're also missing a few units of space pipe. Um, I should be able to simply make a request here for clamp. And get the train once it comes back to make another lap over here. Okay. Now then, we need to go and service our trains. I definitely don't want to be forgetting that. How fast is our spider and for how long? It's already out of battery. Are you kidding me? Really? My guy? Have, have some more solar panels. Why not? Uh, well, it's going a little faster now. What's our current speed? 55-ish kph? I do wish we had, like, higher tier Spidertrons or something to look forward to as part of SE. There are mods for it, but, like, we didn't add them. But yeah, like... I don't know, power armor equipment, the, the stuff that goes in the grid, a lot of it has been pretty disappointing, this playthrough. The portable nuclear reactors are amazing. Uh, like, really overpowered, honestly, for how... How early you can get them and how the fuel runs uh, lasts basically forever. But personal laser defenses, absolute garbage. They draw so much power, it's not really even worth trying to use them, honestly. Like, I wanted to make them good, couldn't do it. And even looking at the highest tier power source that you can get and doing the math on throwing a couple of laser defenses in, it's like, no, it's like nothing. 
I never used Spidertron in SE. I never made it. I think I got one from Interbulba. Okay. We we have found Interbulba. Um, there's biters on his planet. And I want to clear them, but I don't want to risk scorching Interbulb. Partly because he's a good boy, and partly because I don't want to upset him and have him point his rockets at me. Okay. That should be far more... Uh, far more energy storage than we need for our trains to accumulate power while they're resting and go extra, extra, extra fast when they're moving. Lord Vader, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so back here, what are we missing here? A couple of lamps. Those are purely cosmetic is what I would say, but I linked this one like this. Okay, so now they're, now they're purely cosmetic. Um, this is set correctly. Fantastic. We need to set this one to ready ships, dispatch, specific dispatch, and... Central Dispatch, and that one's Timer. Okay. Ready ships. We need to make a channel. Uh, I need to borrow a train station for this. Because we can include these uh, icons, but we can't type them in these channels. So that's Stone Core Fragment Dispatch. And then, what was it? Central Dispatch, I think this one was. Central Dispatch. Um, I think I need to manually put some Logibots in here to get the whole thing started. Oh, and we obviously have to remove this. And that might be effectively everything. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's right. Nice. How much power is accumulated here? Uh, about 18.6 megajoules. And we're doing 500, 1,000, 750 kilowatts. They should be able to go fast with that. Okay. I want to see how far this guy goes on that battery charge. Yeah, pretty far. Just needs a while to charge up on this planet. But I think we're done. Uh, I think we've finished building on Toucan, unless uh, this many Core Fragment mining drills doesn't turn out to be enough um, sooner or later. But that's 15 drills. Um, now we just need to... I can't ride this while I'm in the Spidertron, can I? Cargo rocket's gonna cargo rocket. Uh, ride. I left the Spidertron behind. <laughs> Okay. Get it out of my hand. Chuck this back in here. Uh, so all that's left is to keep spam uh, spamming solar panels here. Um, and I need to put in a couple of Logibots at the new build back at base. Let me put a reminder in case I forget. So it's going to be tomorrow. Logistic bot. I mean, it'll be hard to miss when there are no Logibots flying around here if there's Logibots in here. But still. 
No path? Oh. That that matters as well. Alright. On construction train. Why are there so many bots hovering? That's weird. What are they doing? Uh, what also? Oh, I know where this is going. Okay. It's going here. Okay. Logibot's reminder, indeed. Had to head out for a bit. No worries. Still at it? Yeah, not for long. Um, I'm just wrapping it up. I, I just didn't want to be in the middle of a task that required some, you know, short-term memory kind of stuff. Uh, if I put a storage chest here, that'll sort them out. And we obviously, obviously need to fix this. Um, that'll be a good starting point for tomorrow. Alright, who should we raid? I feel that have same issues, indeed. We got some SEK2 from someone called Pigstyle101. I'll have a look. We got Mr. Dane. I haven't raided him in a bit. Um, Old Herland is doing K2, but not SE. And someone called Quirkit. Qu I can't even pronounce it. Oh, El Whiteo is here. Might not be so bad. I can't read what any of that says. Uh huh. I don't think so. How's the quality? Just have to do a random belt routing for the iron and copper if we. 720. Hmm. It's it's a little blurry, honestly. I think we'll go for Mr. Dane again. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for all that. Urix. Everyone else, GG stream, see you then. Yep, tomorrow, take care. Am I hitting this guy? No, no, these blue guys are, are incredibly impossible to deal with. Um, Tyrannosaurus, man. Hello! Welcome, welcome! Uh, let me try if my new command works.